And number 26, Matt Pierce. Here we go, the kickoff, Delta State kicking towards the east end zone. Matt Pierce in the middle of the field, it's a short kick. It's gonna to go to Quinn Robertson. Quinn at about the 17. Quinn trying to get outside and he's gonna be tackled at about the 22. A good short uh, kick and good coverage by Delta State. Blazers will start just about the 20, on the 22, I think. And right off the bat, guys, a little bit of confusion. The, the ball kind of hung up in the air, and uh, Quinn or Pierce didn't know which exactly won, and then finally we made a decision, and here we go. Yeah, absolutely. I thought there was going to be some jitters in today's game, just because a lot of people say, why jitters? Delta State, big team. You know, you want to get a win for your coach. So let's see what we come out in the offense package for Valley State. Jared Ford goes to far side. Quinn Robertson, Reggie Lewis, Shontavious Jones on the near side. One running back there in the backfield. Caden with the snap looking, throws out the flanker out there and makes the catch. Good catch right there at about the 20. It's a low throw, but a good catch from Gerald Ford. And we got a guy down already, Tom, an offensive line. Number 70. Uh, That's sure. Kabula. Yep. Edmund Kabula, the 6'5", 347. The first play of the football game goes down. That's never good. We never want to see anybody go down, especially your offensive lineman, and not just the offensive lineman. Your senior, 6'5", 347 pounds, that's a lot to lose off your line and have somebody come in and replace him. We were talking about Edmund today because his brother does play for West Georgia as well. Uh, and we didn't mention that last time. Hopefully he's okay. Uh, and, you know, he gets up and, and able to walk off on his own. That's very unusual. Well, right now, not looking good. They're actually bringing the golf cart out to uh, get Edmund Kabula on it. Now they, he is up, up around, but uh, this is never never good to see. But great staff here at Mount Austin State, headed by Russ Hoff and then the doctors from Houston Clinic and uh, Dr. Ben Hogan, our team doctor. It's just uh, that they're, they're carting him off the field. and. Nick being replaced by Jack Bradley, a 307-62 sophomore out of uh, Ackworth, Georgia. Ackworth, Georgia. Gonna have to step up big here. Absolutely. I mean, this is this is what you uh, you know you practice all week for. This is why you you actually go against uh, the first team and, and things of that nature because you might have to step in. So let's see what happens here. That's a big loss. Cedric O'Neill, the lone running back. Blazers got to go two receivers each side of the field on second down in about five. For the Blazers in motion is Reggie Lewis. Going to give it, fake it to him. I can't look to throw down field. Got a man, Cedric O'Neill, and they do it good. He breaks away and still fight for yards and gets nothing, actually lose two. Cedric broke away twice. They tried to they hit him on the, over the middle after putting him in motion. Good coverage of Delta. Good work by Cedric O'Neill to try to gain extra yardage or get uh, some more extra yardage on the play. Uh, but that one right there actually cost us a couple of yards. Uh, but good work by him to keep his feet moving. All right, you got, you got Stretch uh, being guarded by 5'10", guys. I just think you need to look at it. Third and seven. Got one on the far side, three on the near side for Valos to stay. Got to get it to the 33-yard line to keep the drive going. Caden looking. Throws downfield. He's going for shot. Tavius. He makes the catch to 40. Shot to 30 to 20. 15-10 touchdown, Valos to stay. Shontavious makes a heck of a catch and a perfectly thrown football. Guess who called that, guys? Tom Odom called it. Tom, I, I did say to begin this game that Shontavious Jones was a, a, a person that I would like to look at because of the way that the matchups will go. You don't see too many DBs that can equal the size and the length that he has. So great call by, uh, by you, Sean. It must not have been. I thought he might have got the flag there, Charles. A little arm came out. But uh, thankfully, we didn't get it. But that's a big, big pass play and the extra point from Daniel Anderson to make it 7 to nothing at the 13-41 mark. Kick is up, and it's good. Big 70, 71-yard pass play. Yeah, actually, that, that, that play from Kaylee Cochran was a pass complete to Shontavious Jones for 74 yards. Three plays, 77 yards, a minute, 19 seconds. It took Valasa State to go down on the pass play. Shontavious Jones to score to take Valasa State up 7-0 with 13.41 to go in this first quarter. So a good way to start for Valasa State after we lost Edmund Kabula, our starting uh, right guard for the Blazers. And we'll 
kick it off. And the young man who's doing a good job, Jake Walker, the freshman. They've got one man back deep. Tom, you see that number 20-something for them? Uh, number 28. 28 is uh, Justin MacArthur. Good freshman. long kick. Good kick, and it's going to go in, in the end zone. Perfect kick from Jake, and he just continues to get better and better and better out there. So they'll take over first and 10 at the 20. Blazers lead at 7 to nothing. I remind you, if you're at home or can't make it, or if you're anywhere in the country, go to vstateblazers.com and you can uh, link up and watch this game on the webcast with the radio play-by-play. -play. And uh, no, it's always fun to watch them like that. And I was just being told that was Shontavious Jones's fourth uh, play uh, for a touchdown with 70 or more yards. That is a phenomenal on the year for Shontavious Jones. All right, here comes a dangerous football team with the dangerous quarterback Trevor uh, Wooden, 6'2", 225, a junior, transferred from Mississippi State. Two backs in the backfield with him out of the shotgun. He wants to throw deep, wants to throw downfield. He's got a man down there. He makes the catch. He's going to take it all the way down and score a touchdown on their first play. How about that? Two touchdowns of over 70 yards. That was actually an 80-yard touchdown pass on the first play of the game. And that was Isaiah Gresham back there on coverage with, uh, I believe, Probably number eight, Lance Holder, but boy, that's uh, that quieted things down. And Dick, they uh, and they run the ball 55% of the time. I tell you what, that's something that you don't want to see with your defense, and, and you know how we struggled in the second half uh, last week. Now you come back and you get one play for you know a touchdown from Delta State. So big play. There's a snap. There's the hole. Almost blocked it, but it's tied seven to seven. <laughs> Both teams stun each other with uh, big pass plays. We had a 74-yarder dealt on their first play of the game, 80, uh, an 80-yard touchdown pass, perfectly thrown by Trevor Wood. So the Blazers were all tied up. We haven't even played uh, two minutes yet. There's a kick, and it's going to go to Matt Pierce at the four. Matt cuts back towards the home side, cuts back inside, trying to get out, and he can't, and he tackled him at the 18. Good coverage from Delta State. A whole bunch of about six jerseys in there. And so here we go, tied at 7-7 seven to seven after, what, a minute and 30 seconds. Absolutely. It took them 11 seconds to score a touchdown. Like you said, one play went on for a touchdown. Uh, they matched out touchdown that we have to be 7-7 seven to seven here in this first quarter. But one thing is going to be dominant, and, and, and it's going to be a big point. What defense can stop the offense? That, that's what it's going to come down to. Quinn, Robertson, Gerald Ford. Reggie Lewis go to the far side. Sean Davis over here, single coverage again on the near side, first and 10 from our own 18-yard line. Going to run it with Cedric O'Neill, and he goes down. Looked like Cedric slipped just a little bit, and, and the referee... He blew the whistle. Yeah, blew the whistle and said that he was down. Yeah, he was down. He was definitely down. So it's going to be second and maybe even 11. I think we lost a yard on that play. Going to be absolutely accurate, the ball couldn't cause a fumble. So O'Neill remains in the backfield. Of course, uh, our leading rusher may not play today, Eric Scott. Look out for number 20, number 46 for Delta State coming off the edge. Going to fake it. He wants to throw. Got a man in the open at the 20, 25. Has the first down across the 30. And that is Reggie, or excuse me, Reginald, yeah, Reggie Lewis. Reggie, Reggie Lewis, and he, he lowered his shoulder and uh, absolutely punished number 47. Absolutely. Charles, that was a good play. He was actually wide open there with a good little short pass catch and run. So first and 10 for, at the 31-yard line. We're tied at seven apiece with 12 and a half to go in the first quarter. Balance to State and Delta State. Two each side of the field receivers, one back. Cedric O'Neill going to give it to Cedric. He's trying to get outside. Turns the corner, 35, 40, and he run him out of bounds just about a yard short of the first down. So good line run from Cedric, and he is a true freshman. But anyway, I think he almost had to quit saying that, Charles, because he's proven he can play football up here. He's a freshman. Yeah, absolutely. He is a freshman. And, and the one thing that you have to look, Kata Cochran and this offensive line are picking up the extra linemen coming off or the extra blitz coming off the side, number 46 or number 20 for Delta State. That's a good job by them to get the wide receivers open. Second and one for the Blazers at our own 40. Caden wants to throw. Looking at the flat, he's gotten overthrows. Number seven, O'Neal, was a high pass. Would have been the first down, but it took off and flew off. So now Valdosta State facing the third one, bringing a tight end. Matt Mazik, uh, Mazik a uh, sophomore, 6'2", 224 from Houston County. And you see Trent McGuire, the fullback, 5'9", 213, junior, out of... Uh, out of Athens, Georgia, come in uh, for the Blazers as well. Caden's talking to the center. 
Now he backs up. It's an eye formation with the quarterback in front of two backs right behind him. Just need a yard to keep this drive going. Going to toss it to right side to Cedric, and he's trying to get outside. And they make a great play, and Blazers do not get the first down. We'll have to punt the football. Uh, Cedric kind of went uh, straight across the line instead of going forward, which would have gave us the first down, and, and he didn't go through the hole that the line and the lineman created for him. Um, if he would have did that, we would have got that first down, but we're going to have to punt here like you said, Dick. Absolutely, guys. I mean, he had a hole and had the first down. Just a young mistake. Went outside instead of straight. Eric Clanton back at his own 20-yard line. We're 7-7, 11-27 seven, seven to go. We've been rugby punting a lot with uh, – Daniel Anderson see what the Blazers do here. There's a snap, and he is going to rugby punt it. And it's blocked. Blazers pick it up, and they're going to have great field position, and the Blazers fall on it, but still their football. They have blocked, and I've worried about that all year, Charles. Yeah, that's one thing that we worry about when you have a rugby punt, holding on to the ball too long and letting them get back there. And the rugby punt can kind of go against you, and we've seen that there. Hopefully, Daniel Anderson come back and, and create a great punch from here on. So Delta State playing good football right now. They big, hit us with a big touchdown to tie the game at seven. Blazers miss a third one, and our punt is blocked. They have a first and 10 from Valdosta State's 26-yard line with 11-12 to go in the first quarter. Here comes Trevor Woods, all the mojo going in uh, Delta State's way right now. One back, two receivers each side of the field. Wood is their leading rusher. Keep that in mind, the quarterback. He's looking downfield. He throws in the flat. It's made out there, and a good immediate hit. Uh, flats there by Matt Pierce. Picks up no five, five. five or six yards, though, Dick. Yeah, got it. It gave him six. That's 20. We're starting to give him a cushion, and uh, I don't know how much of a cushion we could give him. That's probably something that Coach David Dean seen on the first play. We were probably up too close, and they ran right past the, the D-backs. Let's see what they do here if we give him enough cushion on this one as well. Three receivers, two on visitor side, one on visitor side, one on the home side. No flags he wants to throw. There is a flag. I think we were offside over there and incomplete. I think the flag's on us, Tom. Uh, Dick, I was looking at something else. I'm sorry. It probably is. Uh, if they didn't blow it dead at the uh, beginning of the play, I'm sure it's going to probably be on the defense. Uh, kind of like Might have jumped off, there. if anything. As the officials huddle, let's see what they have. Uh, I think we're going to get the call here. Uh, we got the call. A legal substitution, maybe? Illegal sub, so that's... I saw the guy come in late on the yeah. far side. Maybe he didn't get set properly. But I didn't know if he was a receiver or what, but he I guess he came in late. And I thought we jumped. But. Second and nine now, so we'll just replay that down pretty much. Delta's going to have... One on the far side of the field, that's LeVon Downs, and we're going to bring one receiver on the near side, Eric Clayton, and then also number six, Patrick Bethley, actually listed as defensive back in there, playing a wide receiver also. One back there in the backfield, second and nine from their own 25, Wooden with the football, looking towards the end zone, forced him out of the pocket, and he just throws out in the flat, into the ground incomplete. Good job from Valdosta State to State that time. Put good pressure on them. Yeah, absolutely. Great job by Valdosta State, State to stay with their man, stay with their assignment, uh, and force the quarterback to either run or throw the ball incomplete as he got some pressure in the backfield. Trying to players like the crowd to get into it a little bit here and help them out. Get some noise on here. So they need uh, they got to get down to the 16-yard uh, line to keep the drive going. Going to fake it. Wood keeps it, tosses out. We got somebody out there, and he's not going to go anywhere. Good coverage by Austin State. That was created by Ryan Smith. Ryan he's Smith. got a whole yep. bunch of people helped him. They will have to try the field goal here. Good job by Ryan Smith and a gang of uh, Valdosta State Blazers to get back there to read out that, that pitch and get in the backfield. And, and not a gain on that. I think two plays straight, they didn't get a yard on it. Let's see if they hit this field now, This goal. guy's definitely got the leg. He was kicking them over the building from here. 41 yards from uh, just uh, a little way from the white hash mark going towards the right side of your radio. Snaps there. 
holds there. Kick is... I'm not sure it's good. Dick. No good. No good. He missed it right, so the Blazers defense throws its nick there. Uh, nick, as we like to say, it steps up and stops him after a blocked punt, so let's see if they get that out of the State offense turned around a little bit. 7-7, seven to seven, 9.46 to go in the first quarter. Delta State, Valdosta State. Maybe that's the momentum that we need uh, to get a, a good stop when after the ball is kind of turned over, and, and maybe we can get the momentum to get downfield and score a touchdown and, and keep that lead, that we need that cushion. We learned the first time that they can throw the ball instead of running and get out there one play to score a touchdown early in the game. Cedric O'Neill, the lone running back, two receivers each side of the field. First and 10 from the Blazer 25-yard line. Cedric off the right side. Right now, they're doing a very nice job of slowing the Valdosta State running attack down. Picks up a couple yards, maybe three. Uh, and one thing that you have to look at, Delta State coming to this game, they knew with Cedric O'Neill uh, and, and, of course, um, you know, Eric Scott, where our run game was at. So I can tell that they keyed in on it. But one thing that they're not keying in on is, uh, you know, Shatavius Jones and our wide receiver. Second and seven, one receiver on the far side, venture side, three on the home side. Lost to State 7-7 seven to seven with 9-10 to go in the first quarter with Delta State. Caden looks, throws over there in the flat, got a man, makes the catch, and close to the first down over there is Reggie Ford. Or Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford. Uh, Gerald Ford. Uh, and it is the first down. First down, yeah, Dick, uh, they, he marked him. Uh, he did come back, but his forward progress had gotten the first down. And that's, uh, that's a play that's probably going to be there all day long. Uh, you know, you don't want to give Gerald Ford too many of those because he can break tackles along with uh, Jones and along with uh, Lewis, and they, they will go for long plays. Only two receivers, one split each side. we got a tight end on the far side and two backs in the backfield. Going to run it inside. Again, there's just not much there. Maybe a yard, second and nine for Valdosta State. 8.30 to go, first quarter, 7-7 seven to seven with Delta State. The thing about that, uh, about the run game, you have to keep it going because eventually you want them to commit to the run game, keep committing because it's opened up your wide receivers, opened up your pass plays, and that's what your bread and butter is going to be probably in this game. One receiver split way out here on this near side, and our other receivers are right off of the tackle on the right side. Caden with a quarterback draw up the middle and gets good yardage, gets it to the 40. It's going to make it second and or third and five from the 40-yard line. That was just a, a, a dead-on quarterback. Yeah. Keeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. This is third and manageable. Uh, you, you can you can get your little short pass in there and still maintain a, a first down. I wouldn't be surprised if they send our Gerald Ford out to the right to get to the sticks again and get the catch and get the first down. Uh, usually that's what they try to do in this situation. Ford, Robertson, and Lewis on the far side. Dom or, uh, Sean Davis Jones on the near side by himself again. Man coverage on him. Up tight man coverage. You need five yards to keep the drive going. Caden wants to throw. Getting pressure. Avoids that sack. Throws downfield. Catches. Man, what a good catch there from Gerald Ford. Boy, he was drilled. A good throw and a good escape there by Caden Cochran, Tom. And Gerald. Absolutely, guys. Uh, he came back knowing he was going to get hit. Lays the first down. Boy, he, he's coming off the field, too, for a break. And Gerald came across the field. Good way to keep working to help your quarterback out. Uh, some receivers would have stopped after they ran their route, but he kept going, trying to get open, and that's what made Cater and uh, Cochran to actually get that first down. Pettiford comes in to relieve Gerald. Got only one receiver split out far side, and this looks like Sean Tavius over there. Going to run it this time, trying to get to the corner. Cedric stops, cuts back in, and gets to the 45. That's a good five, four-yard run, if you want to call it that. Because he avoided uh, only about a two yards, picked up two more, so make it second and six. I think we started to realize that we can't really get anything up the center, so we might as well try to bounce it out to the side. And he's getting four or five yards every time he does that, where we were getting negative or maybe one yard running it up the middle. Pettiford and Shontavious on the far, or, uh, yeah, I think it's Shontavious on the far side. Run it again inside, has a hole, across the 40, has the first down, breaks a tackle across the 35, down to about the 33-yard line. First and 10 for the Blazers. Not only are we uh, running the ball and, and, and throwing the ball pretty well, getting first downs, we're killing time as well. Uh, and, and, you know, and that's a big part of this game. Killing time, but also I'll tell you, offensive line is uh, doing their job right now. 
It's first and 10 from Delta State's 33 yard line. It's seven to seven with 620 to go in the first quarter. Both teams had, a, we had a 74 yard pass. They had an 80 yard pass on the first play of their first possession of their drive. Out the flat quickly, catch made. Lewis breaks a tackle, spins, and he's going to go get much. Get it. That turns out to be about five, I guess. Reggie Lewis there was bounced and hit hard about twice, and he fought forward and got a couple of more, so it'll be second and four. Yeah, about second and four uh, yards to go. And, Tom, just to mark on your point, you talking about the offensive line. Don't forget, early in the game, we had an offensive lineman go down, number 65, Jack. Bradley came in for him. He's doing a great job. Two backs job. in the backfield. Cedric off the right side. He's in trouble. And they face, was that a face man? Going to yank it him to the like ground it. and lose yardage. I thought the same thing as you. I thought it was a face mask coming down. It looked like he was pulling by his face mask, but the white hat, the referee, was right there. Um, I'm sure he would have thrown the flag, or Coach David Dean would have came out there and, and asked him to throw the flag if that was the case. Xavier Triplett with the tackle. And again, uh, I think he still, you know, he started outside then stopped and tried to come back yeah. instead of going to the corner this time. But uh, again, it's easier to see up high. It's uh, third and nine for Valdosta State. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. The game's tied seven to seven. Kane, of course, wants to throw. He's looking, looking. Throws out in the flat under yeah. through. He I had him out there. He had Cedric O'Neill, and he short hopped it out there. Caden did. He just didn't feel confident throwing it. Now, do you punt it or are you going to field goal it? And Coach Dean's leaving Caden Cochran out there. I'm going to tell you, though, guys, that was a great design play. And uh, Going to try a long field goal here, Tom. Looks like it. Looked yeah. like if uh, if he was actually, um, if if that ball was would have been caught, he would have been wide open to, to run for about a good 10 yards there. Look like to me, Tom. Well, yeah, remember, remember the holders, the quarterback, all the way. I said, this is 49 yarder from right dead in middle of the field going towards the west end zone, on the left side of your radio. And the wind's blowing in his face. Daniel Anderson. Snap good, hold good, kick is up. Got the distance. It's good. It is good. Daniel Anderson on a streak of 51 to 49 yarder. His last two field goals makes it 10 to 7. Jake Walker will kick it off, 6'1, 144 pound junior. Back deep, they've got number two, Bryce, or uh, LaVon Downs. Look like uh, the referees are over there talking to Delta State side. Uh, just while we have a moment here, that drive for Valosa State, 11 plays, 43 yards, used, used up four minutes and 52 minutes of, that, uh, of this first quarter here for Valosa State for a field goal by Daniel Anderson, 49 yard field goal was good for Valosa State to put us up 10 to seven here in the first quarter. 4.48 to go in the quarter. Back deep again is number two, LaVon Downs, a wide receiver from Avon Park, Florida. I wonder what the problem was down there that the referees had with Delta State sideline. So he approaches, and the kick is in the air. It's just a pooch kick and takes a big bounce over the guy's head, and they pick it up to 25, and uh, don't know. They fumble the football. And we got it, and we got it. Lasers have it on the fumble. And let's see. The Blazers do get the foot. No, they're saying it was down. The one on the other side uh, said the ball is down. And it looked like the... The ruling is that there was no fumble on the play. The player was down. No fumble on the play. I didn't think there was. I thought no, it was I didn't close. Either. I thought the crowd in it. I thought his back was down. Now, I, I, I assume that was intentional, uh, the kick there. But I, you wonder the way he kicked the first one if it was intentional. Yeah, he, I just don't think he could miss it. That, that badly. <laughs> so Delta, pretty good field position, first and 10 from their own 38. Blazers lead at 10 to 7, 443 in the first quarter. Wooden the quarterback. Going to give it to his back, who cuts and tries to get outside, and he's not going to go anywhere, and he's going to go to the ground. Uh, number 34, number 35, number 8. That's Chris Pope, Gerber, Jeremy Grable, and Lance, Lance Holder. And we, we know about Jeremy Grable and Chris Pope. You know, those two guys right there, Chris Pope is the leading tackler for the team, and Jeremy Grable is the other linebacker for us. They do a great job. They are the leaders, I'd say, this, of this defense uh, back there and, and telling people where to go. Second down, they bring a man in motion. They're going to set him up on the far side. Two receivers on, on the far one on the near. Quarterback, two backs to his left and right. They're changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Clocks at four minutes. Play clocks at seven seconds. Blazers drop it back off, and there's a misplay, I believe, and he tries to make something happen. Man. He was hit hard by Jeremy Grable again. I think 
uh, one of the backs missed up there, Charles. It did look like a misread on Delta State's side. And, and good job by uh, Valosa State's defense to actually stay committed to see if he was going to pitch the ball or not. And when they figured out that he was going to run, they got in the backfield. Jeremy Grable again on the stop. Uh, Jeremy Grable is a great linebacker along with Chris Pope. These guys are awesome. 42% completion on, for them on third down, which, which is a pretty good number. They've got to pick up uh, seven yards. Blazers lead at 10 to 7. Got to get it to Valdos to just short of the 50 to 48 yard line. Keep the drive going. Wood wants to throw this time. He does not want to throw. Pulled it in. Now he wants to go downfield. He's got a man down there. Makes the catch. He's going to take it in for the touchdown. Number six, Patrick Bethley. And I just think uh, he snuck in behind and nobody saw him. And Delta stayed on a third and seven with the touchdown to take a 13 to 10 lead. Our secondary has to uh, be uh, looking at theirself now and trying to figure out, you know, when you have a scramble like that, you got to stay with your man and stay committed to your man. Instead, they're letting them get behind them, and that's what's causing a lot of these pass plays to get them touchdowns. Guys, I, you just saw it developing. The guy had, he was scrambling, running for his life, and we didn't stay at home in the backfield. Here's the snap. Good, holds good, and the kick is good. good. Makes it 14 to 10. Once again, Valosta State had him in this quarterback scramble. They make a big play, turn something that should have been a loss into a big touchdown play. A good catch there. You got to give Pat Patrick Beth Bethley, uh, I believe it's number six. I got him listed as yep. DB. Absolutely, that pat, that play right there for Delta State on the scoring drive. Three plays, 62 yards, used up a minute and 36 seconds. Trevor Wood pass complete to Patrick Bentley for 59 yards in a touchdown. 10 to 14, Delta State up on Valdosta State here in this first quarter, 3.07 to go. And back deep for Valdosta State. With the same three, and it's going to go this time over to Matt Pierce at the seven. Matt trying to find somewhere to go. He's got a hole, back, and he stumbles at the 26-yard line. He may have picked up another seven, eight yards. I was watching the referee there. It was close yeah. to a block back there on Reggie Lewis, I think. But the place is pretty decent field position at the 26. Now trailing for the first time this afternoon, 14 to 10, with three minutes to go in the first quarter. We have to. We, we just missed a couple of opportunities. Uh, you know, throughout this ball game, like tripping right there, where it could have actually got us a, a couple more yards downfield. Hopefully, we, we start to take advantage of those opportunities that we have. Cedric O'Neill, the back, uh, two receivers each side. They're, they're actually lined up in I formations, the two backs. Blazers got to respond now. Going to hand off inside to Cedric. He breaks the tackle and picks up good yardage on that first play at about the 33 yard line. So it'll be second and about four, three or four. I like the way that Cedric's running today. One thing it looks like he's trying to do, though, is try to cut back across the line instead of going forward. And we've seen that in one play where it could have been the first down. Quick snap for the Blazers. Going to run it with him again. Cedric stops and uh, just going to be short of the first down. And no, I think we got it, Dick. Field once again, the ball carrier. He's brought I'm sure Coach David Dean is going to tell him to run up the field instead of trying to run across well, sideline to sideline. Even right there, he stopped. Yeah, if he just absolutely. Put his head down. He's going to get the first down. Now it's going to be third and short. Dick, I, I'm, I'm looking across. I, I think we got the first yeah, down. It looks like it from here. It looks like a great spot. Uh, of course, we're up here in the press box. From up here, uh, looked like a great spot. Tom, I'm looking right down the line. I'm looking right across and. Uh, also, I'll be shocked if it's not a first down. 2.24 to go in the first. Both teams of Delta State's hit the Blazers with two big plays. First down. First down. Blazers. Two big 80-yarder uh, and a well, 54-yard play, and the Blazers had a 74-yard play. But uh, you will have to say both of theirs basically were from scramble plays. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was uh, both came off of scramble plays. They lined, bought the quarterback more time, and that's how it actually came out to be. Here's Caden, one back. Going to throw this time out in the flat, and he's being chased, and he throws it away wisely. So that's a good play from Caden. That is a great play, and I, that's what I say all the time. You have to live to see another day or another play uh, as a quarterback, and he threw it away there so we can get back to the line of scrimmage instead of losing yards, taking a sack. Tried to put Reggie Lewis out there in the flat with a little pass that was successful earlier. And they had good coverage, and he was chased down from behind, and Caden just threw it out of bounds. It'll be second and 10. 2.14 to go in the first quarter. Delta State leads 14 to 10 on two 
plays over 50 yards, one of them an 80-yard pass play. Off the right side, Cedric cuts inside and gets good yardage this time. Now it's going to be a third and five, a little more than five for Valdosta State off the right side of the offensive line. Five-yard pickup for Cedric on the play. Inside two minutes to go in the first quarter. Guys, I just talked to Edwin and said he's okay, Mr. Tom. So hopefully that means he's okay. <laughs> I'm glad, uh, I mean, uh, is okay. I'm glad you got that report back. Uh, he is a big piece of this line, but his replacement in there is doing a great job for this offensive line as yeah. well. Sean Davis out here by himself. Three guys of the Blazers on the far side. Caden wants to go. Forced out of the pocket. Throws downfield. Got a man. Reggie down there. Makes a catch. Touchdown, Valdosta State. Reggie coming at the 20 perfectly thrown. Reggie Lewis. No flags, Rock. And what a great play by Reggie Lewis to get out there in the middle of the field and then speed up to catch up to the ball. I believe he beat uh, number with that number 22 that was back there on the coverage. The defensive back, Kenny Barnes, uh, six foot junior back there. He could not keep up. Uh, with Reginald Lewis as many people can once he gets in stride. So do you see where this game's going? It's going to be 17 to 14 if we get this kick through with 129 <laughs> to go in the first quarter. It'll be 31 points and the quarter's not over. Good. Kick's good. Blazers regain the lead 17 to 14 a minute 29 to go in the first. Jake Walker's going to kick it off. Last one he did like a, a, a line drive kick and it didn't seem to work too well. So let's Down see what they ground. do with Le LeVon Downs back deep. Going to kick it down there. Got a good kick. It's going to be returned from the two-yard line. The, the 10, the 15, the 20, and it goes hard just short of the 20. A good tackle there by Blazers number 20, Xavier Kane. Yeah, boy, Crane. I tell you what, they, was, they didn't mean to do it, but it almost was helmet to helmet, and it was by accident because both were falling down. And Xavier's coming off the field holding his right arm. Yeah, at least it's his arm and not his head. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That drive, that uh, scoring drive for Valdosta State, five plays, 73 yards, a minute, 31 seconds used. Caden Crocker pass complete to Reginald Lewis for 58 yards to score for Valdosta State. What a great drive by Valdosta State on that, uh, that scoring drive right there, Tom and Dick. Four touchdowns in the game. Blazers have a 58er and a 71-yard touchdown. They've got a 75 and an 80-yard touchdown pass. First and 10 for Delta from their own 19-yard uh, line. Going to quarterback keep it. We're trying to get some pressure on it. He throws out in the flats and throws it too high. Matt Pierce was flying over there, but it was a high pass, and he was getting pressure up the middle, too, from uh, Chris Pope, I believe. What a great game. 17-14, a minute 18 left in the first quarter. We haven't even got out of the first quarter yet. <laughs> and this game has got interesting really fast, I tell you. It, it, it's going to come up to if our secondary can stop and contain their uh, wide receivers from going out for long passes. Delta's given up 25 points a game. The Blazers given up 18. And we're both close to that number right now. Second and 10 from the 19-yard line. Blazers lead 17-14. to 14. High snap. And they're going to hit the quarterback. Got him in the back, in the number back 45, field. number 46, guys. 46, that's uh, Tevin Davis. I had, had my interview pregame with Tevin. That's his second sack of the season. What a great stop by Tevin Davis, a uh, six-foot, 244-pound sophomore out of Forsyth. Great stop, great read. He would have had either the runner or he would have had the quarterback. And you seen the quarterback had the ball still. What a great stop. And here's where Tevin. we've been getting hurt, though, guys. Here's the big third down. They hit us on one. I think both touchdowns may have been on third down. He wants to throw over the middle and incomplete. If it's a good throw, it's a long game. That was almost another big play. It just came off the fingertips of number two, uh, 11 downs, a wide receiver for them uh, in Delta State. And he almost caught that ball. He would have had to beat one person in the safety, and he would have went in for a long scoring drive for Delta State. 38 seconds to go in the first quarter. First punt of the day. They're standing. They'll receive the snap right at his end zone. Quinn Robertson standing at his own 45. Number four, Quinn Robertson. And the Blazers lead at 17 to 14. 38.8 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Here's a good snap. Here's the punt. Just kicking totally away from Quinn Robertson. It's going to hit and go. A great bounce for them. Inside the what a great Jeez, punt. Manetti. Inside the 20 to 19 yard line. The line of scrimmage was the 15-yard line. 
Drive. That's a long pun. He reversed the field. <laughs> yeah, he basically did. I'm trying to think. <laughs> he reversed the field totally on the side right there. He made it down to what, about the 19 yard line. He was on the 15. So uh, he, he almost got us uh, a, a good full, good foot, full football field, or a, a 80 yard field, if you might want to say it. So here we go. First and 10 for plays with no 19 yard line, 29 seconds to go. Kate Cochran and Cedric O'Neill. Cedric's been on every play this afternoon with the injury to Austin. 25 seconds to go in the first half, two receivers each side of the field. Caden with the snap, give it to Cedric, looks and finds a little room up the middle, picks up about three. Uh, Cedric is starting to get, uh, you know, a, a little bit more yardage uh, when he's going up the middle. I wonder if this defense for Delta State starting to get tired. Uh, that's what you probably want to do. That'll be the final play of the first quarter. Blazers lead at 17 to 14. Caden with the snap, throws the pass in, complete to Gerald Ford. That's a rarity. You don't see Gerald just went right through his fingertips. Yeah, you might see him uh, muff one in the middle, but I'm telling you, he doesn't in his hands. It's usually sure. So here's the second or third down and seventh for the Blazers. Just started the second quarter leading, uh, as we said, 17 to 14 from our own 22-yard line. Got to, of course, get it out to the 29, keep this drive going. Dick, good crowd, good good students. They kind of have to go to the other side now. Three receivers all bunched on the far side. Caden's looking that way. Throws downfield. Got a man down there. Reggie makes, or excuse me, Squint Robertson makes the catch it to 40. Beautiful. And uh, Caden, uh, Caden stayed right in there, went back up in the pocket, and uh, made a great pass. Beautiful throw out, excuse me, Charles, out to the 40. No, you're fine. What a great catch. Uh, by Quinn the, to go up to secure the ball, come down inbounds with the ball, helping his team out big. What a great catch by Quinn Robinson. First and 10 from our own 40, one receiver far side, three the near side, one running back, Cedric O'Neill. Going to fake it to him. He's going to throw out in the flat, catch is made, and a good tackle out there, one on one on Valdosta State's Reggie Lewis. Good coverage that time, only picked up a couple. Uh, guys, if he if he makes if he gets away from the guy that had him by the ankles, he had a uh, an angle shot across the field that, uh, for big big time yardage. Great great stop by Marvin Clayton, defensive back freshman for uh, Delta State. Like you said, open field tackle. If he didn't make that tackle, it would have been off to the races. Two on each side of the field for Valosta State. Going to give it to. Cedric trying to get outside. He can't get there and breaks a couple of tackles, but he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and seven for Valdosta State. On that play right there, Cedric probably ran two or three yards left and right. Um, we have to get north and south up and down this field. Uh, Cedric, he has the vision for it. He just has to get his nose up, up towards the goal line. Have the wind absolutely behind our backs, guys. I might even try a field goal from here myself. If I can get Taylor Biddle to hold it for me and Monty to do something. Two receivers, <laughs> high formation by both of them. Caden wants to throw pressure, throws downfield, overthrows. Didn't have a chance there. Gerald Ford, he had pressure coming right at him on both sides, and the Blazers will punt the football, leading 17 to 14, 13 14. And the bad thing, Gerald was open. He was open, but he, uh, Dick, he had no, <laughs> no protection there, kind of broken down. I'm glad he got rid of it and didn't get sacked. Yeah, absolutely. Caden Cochran had a lot of pressure coming towards him. Looked like they sent just about everybody back there uh, to, to get to Caden. So let's see if we have the straight on punt this time. They got their man back there, LaVon Davis. They're downs. It is the rugby kick again. Gets a good bounce. It's going to bounce inside the 10, inside the 5, and <laughs> at the one yard line, down off the stake. What a great rugby part that was right there. And that's number 14, Alex Webster, almost went too far. Uh, really, Tom, he almost let it. <laughs> hey, we almost botched it. I'm down here, couldn't see it, but it. Uh... Actually, we touched it, Tom. I'm sorry, it's on the four, which is good. Yeah, good stuff. Just so y'all know, Edmund, uh, Edmund's down here talking to Coach Hoffman. He's got his knee brace back on, and again, said, Mr. Tom, I'm fine. 
That's good news. Yeah, that Mr. Tom, Mr. Dick, you know, all that stuff. It makes us real old, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm glad they call you guys Mr. because I'm probably on the same level as them. So. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Got to have some youth somewhere, I guess, right? All right. Delta State lines up in their end zone. Trevor Wooden is a dangerous quarterback, and uh, he's proved, proven it twice today with long, long touchdown passes. The entire backfield's in the back in the end zone. They're going to run it this time off the right side. And the Blazers, man, they hit him right good. There. Lawrenceton on the tackle, and also for the Blazers, 74. And we mentioned Lawrenceton. They gave him a yard at the five. Charles, I've always thought if you get that protection, this, and I've heard the professional people talk about sometimes throwing right here is a good spot if you can get that protection, avoid the holding penalty. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, it is a good moment to throw it because you don't want to try to run the ball, force a fumble, and they can run right in for it. Here's a snap on second and nine. Quarterback Wooden is rolling out. He's breaking. He's got a man open. He's scrambling in the end zone. He throws it away. Yeah, it looked like anybody over there? Boy, he just got it past the line it, of scrimmage. Uh, that's, uh, I mean, the, it's still they're, a, they're looking. The referee's looking, so hold on here. Nobody, nobody was close, guys. Didn't it, have a guy. It, well, there. he was not out of the pocket. If he was out of the pocket, it would have been all right, but he was not out of the pocket. And it might be a safety here. Yeah, it should be. A, we're, we're, our line is hollering safety. And let's wait and see. Uh, let's wait and see. Quarterback got outside the pocket. Oh, he was. No intentional grounding. No intentional grounding. They said he was outside the pocket. That gave that gave Philip way too much microphone. Uh, I wonder what what uh how big the pocket was. Well, that play. I mean the pocket you can see from the lighter color hash marks on the field. The wider ones for the high school, the right. narrow ones. There's no way. I'd like to see the tape on that one. Anyway, it's third down. Got to stop them right here in third down. They've been pretty fortunate making good plays on third downs. I'll tell you what, Delta State got away with one right there, but let's stop them right here. Dangerous quarterback. He just drops back, wants to throw. He does throw, and a good job of Alas to stay. Hey, guys, let me tell you, that was not on our defensive backs. That was on our uh, line that rushed. I don't know if y'all could see it, but we blew them back in the end zone. He had nothing to do but throw it out of bounds. Well, Absolutely, Tom, and I'm glad that you pointed that out because the defensive line did get back there. They felt like that they should have had it last time, and they got back there and, uh, you know, got to the quarterback again Talking to, to rush them out. Uh, that was a great play by the defense for Rolasa State. So they are punting from the back of their end zone. Wayne Robertson standing at uh, Dell State's 45-yard line. Maybe a big chance for a big return here for Quinn. Snap is a good one. No pressure. It's going to be returned by Quinn to 45. And a good tackle there by number 30, Rondrius Truesdale. Oh, and uh, a good catch from Quinn, though, to give us good field position at the 44-yard line. 12 minutes and 9 seconds to go in the half. Dallas to State 17, Delta State 14. Boy, traded some early on touchdown long passes, guys. Uh, and then settled down a little bit. And uh, we made a methodical drive. And then... Uh, as of this time, we play well right now. And on page 30. Absolutely playing well, uh, both the offense and the defense. Uh, you know what? I don't want to don't want to jinx it too much, but we have to come out the second half and play the same way as well. So here's Caden. Got one back in the backfield. Caden's played a nice football game this afternoon. Got one single man on the far side. Throws out in the flat. Gerald makes the catch. Voids a tackle. He's at the 40 and trying to get some more, and they drill him about two yards short of the first down, so good catch, and Gerald Ford just stuck his head in there and made some good plays. They're most definitely laying the hits down uh, to, in today's game. Uh, Gerald Ford uh, with another catch, and, you know, the six get, yards. Uh, yeah, get yards off the catch was most of those six yards. Second down and four for Valos to State. First quarter stats are sort of interesting. I hadn't even had a chance to give them to you. 11 35 to go in the half. Blazers lead 17 14. Cade's got to hold it to 30. He cuts it to 25 to 20. Cade runs out of bounds at about the 16. A great fake from Cade up the middle. Cedric O'Neill picks up big yardage. Let me give you these real quick. At the end of the first half, out of the state, 8 for 11 passing for 173. Delta 3 for 6 for 140. Blazers 217 yards of total offense in the first quarter. Delta with 140. And guys, he showed he showed some halfback moves on that. I don't know if you noticed from up there. He made a good cut. First and ten for Valdosta State at Delta State 17. Cedric O'Neill the back. Two receivers again on each side of the field. Pretty commonplace. Quickly out in the flat. Gerald makes and drops it. 
he wanted to, he looked up just a little bit too quick and there was a quite a bit of room there well uh, Gerald <laughs> seen his eyes got big and he's seen actually that end zone coming towards him uh, you know he, he didn't place the ball in his hands first and then try to run he tried to run first and then catch the I ball. was right here with him and I was trying to catch it for him guys <laughs> so here's second and ten for Valdosta State it'd be obviously a big touchdown turns it into a two score deficit Gerald down here again single coverage on the uh, pleasure side of the field going towards the right side of your radio Cedric O'Neill cuts through and picks up pretty good yardage and they pile him up just across uh, well actually not as much as I thought just across the 15 to the 14 so here's a huge third down play for the Blazers and for Delta State I know Cedric is seeing those holes trying to develop but he needs them to open up a little bit more let them develop just a little bit more let your line do their job and then you can get through that hole which will give you an extra couple of yards and Dick what we want here guys we want seven and not three Gerald Ford, Quinn Robertson on the near side, Shantavius Regulus on the far side. Got to get it down to the seven to keep the drive going. Caden looking that way and initially throws over the middle. Touchdown! Great. 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 Unbelievable. Shantavius Jones with that height con just, just didn't even lead, just put those long arms up. Uh, beautiful. Did you get that in? Oh, the beautiful you, catch, guys, I'm telling you. I'll tell you what, Tom, uh, this is the what we're talking about, the matchup that nobody can really guard him because you put anybody against him, he's still going to be taller, he's still going to be longer and probably faster than the guy that you put on him. Hey, his his arms are, long, are taller than Dick and I. 23 is 14, this to make it 24 with 10-18 to go in the half. Snap and holder, good kick is good. good. Blazers take a 24 to 14 lead, 10 0. 10-18 to go in the first half. Jake uh, will kick it off here for Valdosta State. Jake Walker. And he got the windows back. He's going to kick this in the end zone. And here's the kick. It's a high kick. It's a deep kick, and it's going to take him three yards deep, and he's going to take a knee. And a good kick there for Valdosta State. I'll tell you what, uh, on that uh, scoring drive for Valdosta State, five plays, 44 yards, used up a minute and 51 seconds. Uh, in this second quarter. Katie Cochran pass complete to Shontavious Jones for a 14-yard pass for a touchdown to put Valdosta State up 24 to 14 here in the second half, in the second quarter with 10 minutes, 18 seconds to go. You know, Charles, there has not been a drive two minutes or longer. I don't think. I, I don't think, because the first quarter there was not. So here they go, first and 10 for Delta State. From their own 25-yard line, they run off the right side, and he's not going to go anywhere. A bunch of Blazers and 31 and Devin Davis and also uh, Ryan Smith, and I think there was somebody else in there. I could not pick them all out. It'll be second and nine for, about, or for Delta. Inside two minutes on this snap. Valdosta State 24, Delta State 14. Delta going from right to left on your radio, west, east to west. And uh, Wooden changes the, the play at the line of scrimmage. He's got two receivers to his right-hand side, uh, which is the Vister side, one on the left. Over here in man coverage is Matt Pierce by himself. And the quarterback drops it, picks it up, and still going to try to throw it, and it throws it away. Ryan Smith was over there to be sure he threw it away. He snapped it. Good snap. He just dropped it. It'll be third down and nine. Yeah, absolutely. One thing that you're starting to see is you're starting to see that uh, defensive line uh, is starting to get in that backfield, push that offensive line back into that quarterback range, which is making him rush, which we need. I mean, when when we do that, it makes them rush and it makes them uncomfortable. Ryan Smith out of the lineup for the Blazers. Alex Webster comes in, putting in an extra DB. Got two, four, five DBs in there right now. They got to get uh, nine yards. Wooden looks, wants to throw, throws down fit. He's got a man down there. Right and intercepted for Valdosta State at the 45, the 40. 
at the, uh, inside the 40, 35, what a play, and I think there's a flag, Dominic Wheeler with the catch, but a great, great interception. We got a great sack on the quarterback, I mean, busted the quarterback, but we got uh, we got a buck in the back and a clip, so I guess they can take choose what they're gonna throw on us. Dominic Wheeler, like you said, the quarterback, 5'10", 178-pound junior out of Stone Mountain. Great, great, great defense to get in front of that pass, to intercept that and kind of run back. And then, like Tom said, we do have a couple of plays for the refs to choose what they want to give us. Yeah, but the good thing is we got the ball and probably got it in better field position than if they had punted the ball to us. We have two fouls after the interception. Legal low block at number 14. That penalty is declined. Legal low block against number 46. That penalty will be accepted. 15 yards from spot of the foul will be person 10, Valdosta. So that move it just low. back across the 50. And he loved every minute of that one. <laughs> moves it down to the 46 yard line. Still really good field uh, position for the Blazers after the big interception from uh, Dominique Wheeler Jr. from Stone Mountain. I'll tell you what, a uh, great defense again by this Valdosta State D. I hope we can carry it through the whole game. Uh, I, I like the way that they're playing. Two receivers each side of the field. They jump, but they get back. Caden changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He's got plenty of time on the play clock. Justin Roberts flashing plays into the quarterback. O'Neill off the left side has pretty good room. Breaks a tackle. He crosses the 50, trying to get to the corner. He does. Breaks a tackle and runs out of bounds. First down run of about 12 yards for Cedric O'Neill. And he was bounced, Tom, at the line of scrimmage, and just was able to take it out. Yeah, guys, I hear y'all calling him uh, about to get down several times, but the boy just doesn't quit. He doesn't quit to the whistle blow. You're absolutely right. I think that's probably one of the better runs he had today, but he never quits. Like you said, Tom, he keeps going and going and going. Now he's the main back back there. He, he has a lot of plays that's going to be Look ranked. at this, guys, over here. Somebody's uh, now they're fading over. 8.50 to go in the half. Blazers lead it. They get a late player off the field. Gonna run it with Cedric again. He stops, cuts inside, and really uh, picks up a couple. And at least he didn't, you know, if he'd kept going outside, he would have lost him. Yeah. Or not lost, but probably got the line of scrimmage. I think uh, Coach David Dean also wanted them to kind of snap the ball they, they, because the player was so late getting off the field for Delta State would have been a uh, legal yeah. substitution on their part. But uh, they, we got the play off and got a couple of yards out of the play. Sec second and eight at the 40 in Delta State territory. Blazers lead at 24 to 14 with eight minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the first half. Caden brings a man in motion. Reggie Lewis gonna set over here with Gerald Ford. Caden wants to throw over the middle. Catch is made and right close, about a yard short the first time. First down to Reggie Lewis. I'm looking right across at it, guys. We're about a yard and a half short. Lewis has stopped one day. Big third round, keep this going, 7.50 to go. Caden Cocker's getting a lot of protection by his offensive line uh, to, to throw the ball and take as much time as he needs to find somebody open. Like I say, need a yard. They're showing a blitz here from one of the D DBs. They're going to come inside and puts his head down and gets the first. The boy is close. It is close. I think we might be a tad short. We're short, Dick, if he's uh, looking at the line. Well, they're pointing. According to which one you look at, wherever the spot is. Looks like he marked them just a, a hair short of that one. I'm yeah. looking at. Uh, it's got to be on the hash mark, Tom, of the 32. Yeah, the, the Houston, Houston Clinic doctors, and I think it's short by yeah. a little bit. And this one, Coach Dean has to go for. Uh, without a doubt, 7.24 to go in the first quarter. I'm not telling Coach Dean how to coach, but he's going to go for it. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to go for it. Well, you got to go for it just to make a statement that you're not going to stop. And it's too close. You're, you're already down on this side of the field. Might as well go for it. And what do you do? Just get in behind, uh, get in behind the right side of the line? Absolutely. I mean, your line's big enough to push them back for a, a, a half a yard, if that. If you're real gutsy, you throw it, but I, I just think you get the first down. He better not throw that right there. <laughs> just two receivers split out. I formation for Valdez. First time Cade's been under center tonight. He gets the first after he gets the first down off the right side, which was Tom's preference right there. First and 10 for the Blazers at the 31. The, the great part about this, uh, this whole quarter right here and the turnover that we got, we eat up the clock as much as we run uh, the ball, and that's what you want. When you're up, eat up the clock, 
secure your lead, get it to halftime with a safe lead, maybe score again. And it's nothing. We don't ever put the dagger in anybody's heart, but I sure would like another touchdown. Absolutely. Especially Three receiver right off the tackle, one on the far side. Shontavious, I believe, going to run it again with Cedric inside, breaks some tackles, crosses at 25. Actually, ref line just going to say short of the 25. Number 29, Eric Scott. Oh, Eric Scott in there, excuse me. I thought that's who it was. That Dick, I was trying to get a number. That's the first time he has been in today. What a beautiful sight to see Eric Scott back in the game. Of course, uh, Cedric O'Neill was the back because Eric Scott. Uh, no, that's the. Uh, it's actually number 20, 29, Dick. Yeah, no, it is Eric Scott. Eric Scott. Is it? But it's not, it's not our Scott boy who's out. No, it's not. Oh. Austin. There's the snap, going to run it inside, has a hope, gets to the 20. It's going to be first the down. first down for Valosta State. Boy, that's just, that's, Dick, this is offensive line at their best right now. They're, they're, they're blowing off about four yards off the ball right now. That's a freshman right there, Eric Scott from Washington Wilkes, who comes in, runs two plays, and gets a first down. That's, that's why I have Dick and Tom here for me to help me out because I, I, I get the Scots mixed up just a little bit, but Eric Scott, well, it's still a great sight to see him out there and doing what he does. At the 20, Blazers leading. Going to throw. Ends up wide open. Shontavious. Touchdown, Valdosta State. Makes it 30 to 14. Shontavious, nobody within 15 yards of him. He's back there sticking up those big arms to throw it to me. Um, Mason Barfield out here saying, throw it to me, throw it to me. Hey, I'm getting worried that that car, uh, ties uh, Katie Cocker's career high. Uh, right there with that touchdown pass. So, uh, Shontavious Jones was a player to watch for me in today's game. This will make it 31 to 14 with a good extra point with uh, 5.54 to go in the first half. Snap and hold a good kick is good. also good. 31 to 14. There's the kick for Valdosta State. It's another deep kick. It's going to carry him back farther into the end zone, and he'll just let it stay right there, and the Blazers. Good job again by the youngster, Jake Walker. I'm glad to quit calling that because he's becoming very, very proficient back there. 31 to 14, 5.54 to go in the first half for Valdosta State. And they've done it. The key to the game, obviously, the offense is playing well, Charles, but all of a sudden the defense has been excellent. Yeah, absolutely. The defense has played its role and played this game. Uh, they, they are playing really well. They're really good. The DBs are doing their job. After the couple of big plays that we gave up uh, on scramble plays, they played really well uh, here in this first half. And that was all created, I believe. Or that's the Dominique Wheeler interception. Was that one or was one previous to that? I've, uh, I've lost count. It, it, it was the Dominique Wilkins interception that actually uh, w w that played that one. Up. Wooden in the shotgun from his 25. Going to option down the line. He's going to keep it and picks up good yardage. That's his first good run for him today. Wow. In fact, he really has not run the football all that much. Picks up nine, though. I was surprised that he got that many yards on that run right there. It looked like some defenders for a lot the state was going to come up and stop him after about two or three yards, but he got about nine on the on the play. I'm going to call this an early key moment in this football game because with the 17-point lead, we don't want him in the end zone. We don't want him getting a field goal. I'll tell you what, this right here, I know it's a lot more to go in this game, but this is a big momentum for uh, Hey, hey. Pull right off the state. Hey, Second lesson one, they bring a wide receiver in motion to go hand it off the right side. Has the first down, breaks clear there to 45 to 50. And he's going to be run out of bounds over there. Just what the Blazers did not want to happen. Let him come right back. And that was uh, Bryce McBride, a 5'8 uh, senior. And again, just the one thing the Valdosta State did not want to happen. And now they mark it all the way back at the 36 yard line. We gotta contain them here. Don't just let them go in and score. Timeout on the field here. I believe out on the state. Let's Looks see. Like official our official timeout. Yeah, Five. I'm sorry. I had to do a little battery work down here. Five minutes and two seconds to go in the half. Blazers lead at 31 to 14. And they're gonna reset the play clock. Valdosta State 36 yard line. At the Blazer 36. So the last two plays have been good for Delta State. Blazers somehow want to protect this comfortable lead here. It's not a, by any means a done lead, but just a comfortable lead, and any momentum is never good. Wide receiver in motion, and he hands off inside and gets nothing, gets a yard at the line of scrimmage here, and I believe that was uh, Tyler Josie on the tackle. Tyler Josie and uh, Lawrence Virgil uh, helped aided that, Dick. 
I'll, uh, I'll, I'll follow the state defense and the defensive line and the linebacker core that we have. Really good in the red zone uh, defense. They, they, they make sure that nothing gets inside of that. You have to bounce to the outside. Second and nine. Trevor Wooden, the big transfer from Mississippi State, looking to the sidelines. Clock's at uh, right at four minutes on this snap. One back, brings a receiver in motion. Going to option it down to the hand to half inside. He's stuffed again. Andrew Larston makes the tackle. He's made, he's played well this year. He reads that option really well. I mean, he reads it really well. He's in the backfield waiting for it to come. As you see, the Valencia State defensive players trying to get the crowd involved in this game. Here comes some substitutes in. You don't call them so, just some guys that are in and out all the time. So here's a big third down. Has to be at least to the Blazer 26 yard line to keep this drive going. They might hear the crowd in it, Dick. They might settle for a field goal if uh, Blazers can keep them to that end. Watch out for the quarterback keeper here. Wood. Options out. We got people there, and he's hit, breaks a tackle. Boy, he's close to the first down. I think he gets it. That's just a good hard run. I thought they moved actually on this left side, but uh, to their credit, I think they have the fourth first. down, Dick. I oh, think it's fourth. fourth. It, it was actually, uh, we had them wrapped up about the 31, well, about the 29-yard line, and he actually just fought hard, kept his feet moving, and uh, got almost to the first down marker. So they're going to come and mark it. They're definitely going to go for this. Uh, if they don't have it, I think they have it. I hope I'm wrong. I think you're right. And it is a first down. So, again, there's another first down that has been picked up. I say another because uh, they were three of five, or no, they were one of three in the first half, or first quarter. So the Blazers trying to keep them out of a, a field, an end zone touchdown. Just if, if we have to give up the field goal, we'll accept that. But it's a 17-point lead. And the Blazers struggled last week when they had the comfortable lead. But it's too early. This lead they know is not comfortable in the first quarter, first half. Right. So here comes Wood. Got one back behind him. Two receivers line up on each side of the field, going towards the right left side of your radio. Wooden keeps it, wants to throw, wants to throw the end zone, and overthrow. There's a said he went out of bounds. Went out of bounds, and, uh, and then there was he called it out of bounds. I'm right here by it, guys. So it'll be second and ten. Uh, Two fifty to go in the first uh, half. You kind of see that, and that, that ball even. I think it would have probably been a little bit uncatchable as well if they uh, probably why one reason the flag didn't come out of that. Two backs there with him. Got that one receiver is a good one on the far side of LeVon Downs, and two on this near side. Now Wood changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Hollers out to his receivers, left and right. Snap, wants to throw. Looking, looking, throws over there wide open at the 20. 15, 10, Blazers knocking down. The Blazers had somebody that just blew some coverage somewhere. And he was wide open. Uh, it was basically a race to the goal, zone, goal line as we have four Blazers coming over to try to get him pushed out of bounds as I think they do at the five yard line. Guys, we just uh, had a little confusion and a little blown coverage on that, on their left side, our right side. They got it down at the Blazer five yard line. First and goal inside two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. The good part about it is that we ate up so much clock that they don't have a lot of time to do a lot. And Delta's gonna get the second half kickoff if you remember, timeout on the field. Or delay a game what? Timeout. So I say if the Blazers could keep them here first and goal from the five yard line, the Blazers lead it 31 to 17. Two minutes, 17 seconds to go in the first half. This will be a tough team to keep out of the end zone with this really good quarterback. Wood wants to run off the right side. He will, and going to get to about the get in, Nick. Gets down to the one-yard line. It'll be second and goal at the one inside two minutes. And I wouldn't even hand it off to anybody. If, he, if this guy can't get it in, he's your best runner. <laughs> It's, it's, I mean, you're, you're down here on the one-yard line. Uh, it, you know, he's your best runner. You're probably going to try to give it to him again uh, being this close to the end zone. He's going to have it at the one. Maybe a bad snap, maybe a fumble, maybe something. He's going to go up the line of scrimmage and tell everybody a new play. Box at minute 40. 
high snap. He's going to option down the line. He's going to pitch it out there. We got somebody out there, and he's going to get into the end zone for the touchdown. Randy option, a good play and good hustle on the far side of Alasta State's, uh, I believe it was 21, or no, it's 31, probably Ryan Smith, I think. And that makes it 31 to 20, so Delta State did not panic when the Blazers had that momentum there, guys. You can see that uh, Valdosta State defense kind of knew what was coming towards them. You see in the linebacker core actually pointing out which side they were going to go to. They just couldn't get there fast enough. This kick to make it 31-21. Again, Delta's going to get the football to start the second half, and the kick was blocked and did not get through. Great job. I believe that was Dominique Wheeler, Tom, 21 maybe. It actually was. Yep, you're absolutely right about that. Dominique got it in the backfield. Second big play that Dominique has done for this defense today. Off quickly there by Delta State. I'm sorry we didn't get back, but Blazers only return it to the 24 yard line. First and 10, minute 27 to go in the first half. Valdosta State is leading 31 to 21, but give Delta credit again with a good drive to yeah. cut into that 17 point deficit. That scoring drive for Delta State was nine plays, 75 yards, used up four minutes and 22 seconds uh, in this second quarter. Blazers, go, excuse me, if you're looking at your radio, Blazers going left to right. Just trying to help some people out there listening. Don't want direction. We're going left to right if you're looking at your radio. Here's Caden quickly out in the flat. Catch made. Immediately hit. Only gets about three yards, maybe four on the play. That's Reggie Lewis. Didn't look like much, but ended up with uh, right at, what, four yards? Yeah, I mean, it didn't look like much at all. But by the time he laid out, the game was an extra two yards for four-yard gain on the play. First time we'll have Tom grab Coach Dean going to the locker room. We haven't had that in about two weeks now. Unless I did sign language back up to you. Inside a minute, Blazers not in any big hurry here, leading 31 to 20. I know Coach Dean's thinking we can get another one in there. Showing blitz over here from the corner. It looked like he came up. Going to run it. And there's Cedric at the 35, the 40. Cedric 45, 50, all the way down to the 48-yard line. Cedric go there with the big run. And we got two timeouts, guys. When did we burn the first timeout? Uh, on that defensive series. On that last defensive series. 44.9 seconds to go. Quickly, they line it up. Official starts the clock. 40 seconds, Caden with a quick snap, wants to throw, wants to go downfield, the end zone, got a man down there, touchdown, Sean Tavius Jones, his fourth touchdown of the game, what a throw and a catch from Caden, or I mean, from Sean Tavius. Got a flag, and I hope it's pushing off on them, not us. Oh, man, and it's not looking good. With the referee, with the official standing down there, it's coming back. It's coming back. Well, that just wasted a lot of energy on my part. That's coming back. There's a penalty called pass interference on Shontavious Jones. And I didn't see that one. I didn't see it from here. And nobody on the sidelines that were looking did, did saw it. What a catch. What a throw. Shontavious asking what he did. A lot of times, if that ref, those officials see that arm come out any, Charles, more, more often than not, you're going to get it called against you. Well, well the one uh, extra part that was on the, the side of Delta State as well, so I'm sure everybody over there was screaming the same thing, uh, you know, the push-off, the push-off. So. Lose it back to the 39-yard line. Blazers lead at 31-20 with 34 seconds to go. Lined up pretty much the same formation. Kane wants to throw. Throws downfield, got Quinn Robertson down there, almost intercepted. Now it's going to be third down and a long way. Wow, we would love to have that last one back. First down and 20, that doesn't look like 27. Second down for Valosta State with 29 seconds. Blazers with two timeouts, Delta with three. Caden drops back, throws over the middle, and catches made, and he's hauled, hollered down from behind. And Is no, that not a horse crawler? No, I've never seen it called college in it. It can't be the jersey, it has to be back up under your, sh on your shoulder pads, I think. So Blazers had something positive going. Coach Dean, I think, is going to let the clock run down. 
And Blazers is going to take it to the locker room and Tom will grab Coach Dean real quick here. And some tough talk going on between Gerald Ford and Spencer Van Brunt for them. So Coach Dean going out to get his players off the field. 31 to 20, we'll keep it here as Tom Odom's going to grab the head coach, get one quick question from him. Coach Dean talking to the line judge over there. As we wait for uh, uh, Tom to get coach, I'll tell you what, it was a great first half by the defense for uh, Valosa State. We played well, played well hard. Uh, a couple of interceptions, well, one interception, great defensive plays, great to get to the quarterback for uh, Valosa State. All right, Tom. Coach, uh, going in against Delta State up 11 points. Yeah, you know, we lost one right there. You know, I, that, that was kind of a, I've seen a lot of calls in my day, but that was the interesting one. Yeah, we got, we're giving up too many big plays on defense. Offensively, you know, we're, we're doing a pretty good job. We're, we're moving the football, mixing it up well. We just, uh, we got to be able to stop them on defense. This is going to be a shootout. This game's far from over. Thank you, Coach. Blazers ready to kick it off. Officials had them lined up wrong. Valdez we'll State was lined up kicking from uh, left to right. For all you left to right fans on your radio, now we're kicking from right to left or east to west. Hey, Rock. Yeah. If you had listened to your longtime friend about all these things, your Twitter and Facebooks yeah. and space balls and whatever <laughs> that stuff, you'd be like me. No, nobody wants to hack anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tom, I tell you. Oh, well, we tried to get him into the social media. And yeah, I know y'all did. He's done with it. And we're, he was, hey, he was excited about it, too. We're going to try you next, Tom. Uh, right. no, he sent me 42 emails to tell me that he'd gotten 142 <laughs> Twitters that ruined his account. It's uh, 15 minutes underway right now in the third quarter. This could be a wild second half. A short kickoff this time. It's going to be returned from the six out to the 15, the 20. Has a little bit of a hole, and he's tripped up there. Good tackle from Van Austin State's Alex Webster. They get it across right at the 26 yard line, first and 10. So this first drive is a big one for both teams. I tell you what, you can tell the intensity in this game. I mean, these, these guys want to win for each of their re coaches respectfully. Of course, Valosa State wants to start a new type of segment and uh, get a victory for Coach David Dean, who has a one in five times with this uh, against this Delta State team, and, and a, a new victory for the new head coach for Delta State is what the state men, statesmen want to get. So here they come with Trevor Wooden. He's 6'2", 225, a junior, and uh, he it leads them in rushing, but they have not. They didn't really rush the ball that much in the first half. Had tremendous success throwing the long pass play. Quarterback option is going to go out to the outside, and he's going to be tripped up there. There's a flag comes in late. Lord have mercy. 34, Josie and uh, uh, Chris Pope on the tackle there. Let's see the judge. The umpire threw umpire that ball. Ball. That's Five holding, I think, guys. There were not many penalties, actually, in that first half. No, there wasn't. There wasn't a lot of penalties at all in that first half. That was really uh, surprising, I think. Uh, Let's see penalties. Uh, Blazers had two, and they had one. Yeah, that's super. that's pretty dang good for a high maintenance, you know, high important game like this one. And that was a, a holding call uh, to Dick on yeah. that one right there against Delta State. Had to make it first and uh, 10, 15, 16, about 17, just underway here in the second half. And Blazers, of course, we had a huge penalty on the touchdown of Sean Tavius. Of course, I was talking to our very uh, distinguished people in the press box. They thought, like we did, there's probably a pass interference on his third, first touchdown catch. And then on the second one, probably also. But so I guess it evened itself out. 31 to 20, just underway in the second half. Delta State gets a penalty on its first play. Trevor Wooden waits for the snap. He gets it, wants to throw. He does throw the slant. It's tipped. Good defensive play, and I did not catch 34. Yep. That's no. O'Pope, Chris Pope. Chris Pope is, uh, you know, he, he gets involved in just about anything in, in those linebackers for Valosa State. You can't speak of him enough. Chris Pope is always out there getting out. He's really quick. And to jump up and tip that ball, what great defense by this Valosa State uh, defensive uh, linebackers. Valosa State, 406, 364 yards of total offense in the first half. Delta State, 217. Here's a second down and 17. 
just at the 14 and a half minute mark of the third quarter. I wouldn't look into the sideline and say, I, I hate this. I hate this when they do this stuff. They'd look at the sideline and get to play it. Just don't like it. High snap again. Quarterback tosses. We got people out there and a good play from Ballast to Stace. Jeremy Grayboy. Boy, he makes a bunch of plays. I'll and tell you what, number 46, Tevin Davis took care, laid out. Took the care of the quarterback. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right, Tom, and I think we've both seen that. He made that quarterback think about running it again. I Lord mean, have mercy. He laid him out and made sure he knew if you're going to run this ball and run the option, I'm going to make you pay for it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, here's Delta, uh, big third down. We thought they were doing well. They're actually only two of six on third down plays, but they, I think they both were touchdowns to those three. So they've got a third and 17 to keep the drive going. Got to get it all the way down to the 36 yard line. They got four receivers, wants to throw, getting pressure and he's gonna go down in the backfield at the one yard line. What a rush job, get to all those numbers. Number 30, number 30, number 35, and number 31. Tro Trocon Gay, I think in there also. Chaz Matthews was top 43, I think, was in. 43, 43. And Jeremy Grable as and well. Four, all the way back, that was just an all-out blitz, and they're going to have to punt it at the back of the end zone. What a huge, great defensive stop by the Blazers right there. Here you go, Quinn Robinson. This is your chance to actually get a good return. Any yardage right here will be a great field position for Valley State Blazers. Just don't want to, no hold or anything. They're missing a player on the field. The play clock's down. The game. They're going to have to call a timeout call here. A timeout. They're just going to go ahead and snap, and they're going to call timeout. Delay. No, they just had a penalty. Delay I cannot game. believe that. It's a delay game. They knew they only had 10. None of the players would call the timeout. I can't believe the coaching staff didn't call the timeout. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at, and they, they're over there looking at each other. They're going to wave the flag off. I thought it was a timeout call because they didn't have 11 players on the field. And... Uh, well, who signaled for the timeout? One of the players on the field. I, I guess any player can call the timeout, I assume, and say they will call the timeout. And since uh, we've talked halfway through it, Jack, we'll just keep it right here. Guys, uh, Edmund uh, is okay, but he's not gone. He took his pads off. He's just going to watch the rest of this one. Well, we're talking. It seems like uh, Jack Bradley has done a nice job since coming in relief there. No, cause no, no question. No question. Yeah, Jack has done a really good job uh, down there and actually, uh, you know, he's taking care of what he needs to as a sophomore, coming in and taking it in for uh, Edmund Kubla. You know, it, it's a big job to feel that he's filled that. This one, you have to be careful when you're the punter because you, if you step out the back of the end zone, you're, you're a safety. There's a lot of things that can happen. Wait for the snap. It's there. There's the kick. It's a good kick. Going to oh, drive Ken back across the 50. At the 40-yard line, Quinn straight up the middle, tried to skirt me through to a couple of guys, and good coverage for them. He tried to. Oh boy, he fell on his head too, he boys. I, I he's did. down. He's not. Uh, we're not going to say anything. Quinn is down and just rolling onto his back. Now he tried to cut, go through two guys, Tom. A little seam there, and they both got him. And so here comes the VSU staff out on the field. Back at Batesmore Hyder Stadium, we're still in a. Injury delay for Valdosta State's Quinn Robertson. Uh, they do have Quinn on a stretcher, and uh, apparently will soon be rolling him. I, I would think they were going to bring the EMT vehicle in, but I have not seen it, so I guess they're just going to roll it out. But uh, the doctors from the Houston Clinic, as good as it gets, very, very careful, along with Russ Hoff, what they're doing, and be sure that is, they're taking all the precautions that they can. And Tom, you saw Quinn raise his arm up in the air, which is uh, which is good. Yeah, it, it actually is a good sign that you see uh, when when somebody raises their arm up in the air. It's kind of a sign to let everybody know that they're okay. Uh, good sign to see that happen. Uh, great. I, I, I can't mention enough about the great sportsmanship shown by both teams. Even the team doc from uh, Delta State came across to see if Valasa State needed some help. Um, th those are the things that you want to see, even though this is a rivalry type of game. At that point in time during the game, this doesn't matter. The rivalry doesn't matter. All right, here we go, folks. It's going to play football again. 12.45 to go in the third quarter. Blazers lead at 31 to 20. And I uh, apologize. It's, uh, this, this was a tough thing to see. Of course, we we'll just uh, say a prayer and hope uh, things will work out for Quinn. Caden in the shotgun. One receiver, three re one running back with him. He's going to throw it. Wants to go downfield. Got a man down there. Touchdown. Did he get in? 
Did he get in? He's going to win out at the one yard line. Sean Tavius on another beautifully thrown football. Okay, Nick. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, two things. One, a beautiful pass. But uh, I was, you cut me off. But they came in. Uh, one of the trainers came over here and said he's going to be fine. They're going to take him for precautionary uh, measures on him. Uh, great news, Tom. That's good to hear. That's great to hear about a uh, you know a player like that when. when you know, you wish all the prayers to him. First and goal for Valdosta State. Boy, Sean Davis, what a day he's having. That would have been his fourth touchdown of the day and knock him out at the one where he stepped out of bounds, actually. Caden in the shotgun. Going to run it. O'Neill trying to get into the end zone. He didn't get it in there that time. They're dragging nope. him around. In fact, he might have lost a half yard. So it's going to be second and go side the one. Let's push this in right here on this one. Uh, I, 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 would, I would say Caden Cochran taking it. Yeah, he went it maybe going to center this time. Caden is going to go into center. Blazers lead at 31 to 20 at 11.50 go. Quarterback sneak, and uh, did he get in this time? I didn't see him get in. Touchdown, yeah, Valdosta State. They, they, had a time they had to get him on the bottom of the pile before they knew. That makes it 37 to 20, Valdosta State, with 11.41 to go in the first, in the second, third quarter. Excuse me. I'll get, I'll get my bearings here in a minute. Guys, y'all got to realize uh, Bubba Thomas just pointed out that was a beautiful time pass because he knew he was supposed to turn around, and when he turned around, guess what? The ball was there. Yeah. Extra point here to make it an 18-point lead, 38 to 20. Wait for the snap. It's good. Holds good. Kick is good. Good. Blazers throw one on the board. Here's the kickoff. Another good kick. Going to go right to the four-yard line near side of the field. He's at the 10 to 20 as Willow Bloom gets out there right at the 29-yard line. On the tackle there for Valdosta State is Matt, uh, or excuse me, Alex Webster. Guys, I'm going to tell you it's amazing from this level how these holes, they probably look up there like they've got one, and then split second it closes up, you know. Absolutely. I mean, I know exactly what you're talking about, how fast these holes close up, especially when a runner gets to see it, and then, you know, you see a defensive player it pops right into that hole that takes you down. I tell you, uh, Ross, the State's playing great on defense uh, throughout this game right here. That last series was maybe the best of the day but went on that first drive, and let's see if they can continue that against a very good quarterback and a very good uh, he's shown ability. He's not really run the ball that well today. 11.34 to go. Blazers lead at 38 to 20 in the third quarter. He's got one back, three receivers in the far side, starting at their own 30-yard line. Could option down the line. Quarterback almost falls, and then he does fall at the 30. That was a that was a weird little option right there. You, he, he could never get his foot in. Uh, he actually did a spin move uh, in the backfield as soon as he grabbed the ball, and then he lost his foot in from there and went down, what, by a half mm -hmm. a yard? That was Chris Pope again, and uh, Andrew Larston still continuing to play good football for Warner Robbins. Second down and still 10. Be inside 11 minutes on this snap. Got two backs behind him in the shotgun, a receiver on the far side of the field, single coverage with Matt Pierce, and then two receivers on his near side. Wants to throw. Pressure. Pressure. Gets away from it. Throws downfield and makes the catch. They're going to get him all the way down to the goal line into the end zone for a touchdown. I, I don't see how that's not a push off when you had a push off down there. Wow. Again, they hit us with a gigantic play, Tom. What was that? Nick, Nick, Nick yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Back in the, <laughs> I mean, Virgil Lawrence, Virgil had the quarterback and was, uh, it was slinging him a little bit, and uh, he still got loose and uh, was able to throw the pass. Delta will just not go away, 38 to uh, 26 now. Are they going to mark? No, this is the uh, extra point. You have a big line. You have a lineman down, number 76, Lamar Young, for Delta State down. He's a 6'5", 330-pound senior. It looked like he's cramping up. Uh, big, big, uh, big piece of the lineup coming out. The thing is, every time Delta has answered today, yeah. every play, every big play the Blazers make, they come back and make a, a bigger play. They're still battling back, and that's the way this game, this may be an unbelievably high number of points scoring the football scoreboard in Valdosta State in a long time unless the defenses can start making some stops. 
Well, here's the one thing about uh, Delta State. They can't go score for score for Valosta right now because Valosta State is up in this ball game. And if you want to go score for score, you're never going to come back and win this ball game if you're Delta State. Scoreboard has not been changed to 30, 38. It is 38 to 26, isn't it? Ah. Uh, it, it, it isn't that what it should be, 38 yep. to 26? 38 to 26. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Dick, I'm going to tell you something. What's happening, though, and these young, these, these defensive backs have got to learn something out of this. We, we, we get the grab. They see them scrambling. They see our guys' hands on the quarterback, and I think they take their eye off of what their assignment is, and then we're getting beat. I don't think we're getting beat if we play assignment football. Yeah, uh, the, the defensive back back there, he tried to get back and get – up to the receiver that was getting open and he kind of lost his foot and uh, trying to catch up to him and that's what led to uh, you know him getting a touchdown also it is first to go Charles they didn't get him in the end zone is it first to go yeah first to oh, go wow. that's good yep quarterback wouldn't Drex snapped to tailback, got a little reverse coming. We got some people out there, and then they want to throw it. Intercepted by Valos to stay in the end zone. Brings it out, still on his feet at the 20. Trying to get outside, he's at the 15. There's a flag on Valos to stay at the 15. What a poor play from Delta State, the big interception. Guys, but now give that to the pitcher on the field. Yeah, but Isaiah Gresham, actually, Tom, it wasn't the quarterback. He pitched it there at the last minute. And the penalty, that penalty last will be on Valdosta State. No, it was an inter it wasn't a touchdown, Tom. I mean, uh, t was it Tom? No, it was not a touchdown. The flag was waved off. The uh, two-point conversion is no good. No, it was a, it was it was a first down. It was not a touchdown. It was a first down, and uh, his knee went down when he tackled him. He uh, before he rolled into the end zone, and when they came back, they placed him on the four yard line. Yeah. So that's. It actually was a touchdown. Well, it, it was. Now they're kicking off. It was ruled a touchdown. They attempted this uh, two point conversion. If you intercept the ball on two point conversion, yeah. you can run it back for two points. That's where the confusion came in. We didn't know from up here if he was down on the one or the touchdown was called. Yeah. We never seen the. All right. Well. Here. 38 to 26, that was the score. Quite a while. It, it, this could be, this could get wilder and wilder, folks. I may lose control up here. I didn't really see the touchdown signal either well, from the referee. Maybe they did it. And, and that's what I didn't see, Dick. And I was walking all the way from the other end, because how quick the play was. Well, here we go. I hope we've confused everybody totally. It's 38 to 26, 10 minutes, 27 seconds to go in the third quarter. And the Blazers are just going to have to continue to put points on the scoreboard. That's all there is to it. There's a line drive kick, a good one. And Matt's going to let it go through the end zone, and it'd be first and 10 at the 25. And uh, Theseus Jackson was over there and went through Theseus, and it's best to probably go ahead and take it at the 25. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just a little bit of miscommunication by Theseus Jackson and Matt Pierce uh, on who was going to take that ball and try to bring it out of the end zone. I got to communicate on that one just a little bit more. Lucky that was in the end zone uh, for, for us to start on our own 25-yard uh, line. Sean Davis Jones being the guy today. He's got four touchdown passes. Actually, has five. One of them was called. Got no, he's got three because if he didn't get that fourth one. On ground level, I mean, this number eight, number one, I haven't got my program with me right now, but uh, look at the height difference here. Eight's 5'10". Yeah, eight's 5'10". Of course, Sean Davis is 6'4". Going to run it. Looking inside, gets a little bit, picks up about two only on that play. I just think John Tavius can do a little stop and go, and this guy can beat him every single play, guys. And yep. that's, that's Cedric O'Neill. Cedric's made, he's probably been out of there only five or six plays today offensively. Yeah, C uh, Cedric O'Neill has actually been the workhorse right now, and he's uh, getting every bit of it in. Uh, and like you said, Tom, I think Sean, Sean Tavius could be a stop and go. And then get past that uh, DB. Wait for the snap. Going to run it again, trying to get outside, and there's nothing there. And a good defensive play by number seven, Xavier Triplett. Uh, and that play right there, we're holding on to the ball and then trying to run the option a little bit too long. Uh, as you've seen, every person for Delta State defensive side came up and, and uh, stopped it for a loss of yardage on that. We need to go back to the pass where Shartavius Jones is, is ruling the air and, and, and beating. Now they put number 12 on him. 
Caden's going to go shotgun again, of course. Clock's at 920. Blazers lead it by only 12 points, 38-26. Wants to throw. Throws downfield. Got his man intercepted at the 50. He's at the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15. Inside the 10, down to about the 8-yard line, and then not a good throw that time, and the interception, so Delta happened. State has the momentum on their side. Nine minutes and two seconds to go. And saw it, and, and, and saw he was going to throw it, and saw the guy was just sitting back there waiting, guys. Just sitting back there waiting. Statesman will take over first. So Delta State in a wildest football game as I've seen in Valosta State in a long time. Delta will not go away to their credit. Every It's all the way down to Valdosta State's nine yard. I think that is the Blazer first turnover of the day. It is. Guys, they just wanted, they wanted something to happen. You know, they were just, they said, yeah. let's get a first down. Let's make it happen. And it just was ill-advised. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. Pretty good sized crowd. 6,672 people here in the stadium today for Valdosta State versus Delta State game. And homecoming weekend. Delta has not panicked whatsoever. And they're in a, a chance now to get this game real close. They get a late substitution. And they're going to have to call a timeout. Delta State at the line of scrimmage, first and goal, trying to cut back into the lead after a big interception. Puts them in great field position. They scored a touchdown. And now are right there knocking at the door again. Blazer defense really challenged right here. There's a snap with an option down the line. He's going to cut inside and be tackled. Did he get in? <laughs> Touchdown, Delta State makes it 38-32. They'll probably go for two. No, they're going to bring their kicker in, punt, or place kicker in this time. It's really too early to go for two, if you think about it, Charles. I mean, still got, gosh, a quarter and a half to go. Excuse me. One thing we can't do here is, uh, you know, start off slow. We can't, we can't do that. Gave him great field position. Waiting for the snap on the extra point. It's there. Holds up and it is good. Makes it 38. It's 23. Well, the Blazers got themselves in another barn burner with Delta State leading 38-33 with 8.59 to go in the third quarter. Both teams have been electric offensively and the defenses have struggled kick up in the sun Matt Pierce could not even see it he's just going to take a knee he never saw the football Tom and uh, wisely just uh, took a knee and the Blazers have first and 10 at the 25 yeah it's tough I'm telling you looking back right now if I look back to the left it's uh, pretty blinding guys uh, that could be a problem too uh, you know for Kaylin Cochran as well uh, you, that that's not something I thought about in the pick coming uh, he's looking down didn't see the defender there uh, that, that could have been a possibility. He's looking into the sun the way that uh, Valdosta State's going towards the end zone. Chris Anderson goes to the far side of the field with uh, Gerald Ford. Sean Tavis on this near side, probably with uh, Reggie Lewis. Blazers got to respond here on first and 10 to 25. Neither team can quit scoring. And threw it too hard over there through the hands of Gerald Ford. It'd be second and 10 at the 25. And he just hoped the Blazers uh, can regroup here because they, they had the 17-point lead, and then they had another 17-point lead, 18-point lead, I think. And Delta State answered each and every time. And the problem is one was off an interception, and then uh, just uh, they've hit us with some huge, huge pass plays today. Second and 10 for Valdosta State with the lead. Option, quarterback keeps it and going to get just a few yards, so now it's going to be third down for Valdosta State. That looked like a broken up play uh, by yeah, Valdosta we State. Well, I thought it was a, actually a, an option in uh, the Theseus out here, and he tucked it in and, and ran. Scores, excuse me, the score is 38-33 is what I thought I said, but apparently not. Eight minutes and 34 seconds to go. 38-33, Valdosta State leads with 8.29 to go, and here's a big, big third down for the Blazers. Four receivers, two each side, going to throw for it. Sean Tavis with the catch, and he drops the football and won't have the first down. They're going to call an incomplete pass, and Valdosta State will punt the football. We're getting a little sloppy here, guys. Uh, he, he, we have to make sure we secure the ball and keep the ball uh, in our hands and 
Uh, you know, we, uh, did we try a run play on there uh, on that series at all? Uh, right there, I, I don't. I don't think so. I think it was all passes right there. Let's see if we can get good punt by. Uh, we had a, a rugby punt also blocked, but I think the laser stopped him from anything on that one. He's going to rugby it this time. Line drive, kick it. That's a good one. You pick it up, and then he falls down there at the 26-yard line. So good, good punt that time from Daniel. It's hard to get a return on those rugby punts, and uh, Clanton just fell on it. 8-10 to go in the third quarter. Valosa State leads it by five points. It's just, it's just been a, a many big plays as I've ever seen in a football game. This is like a roller coaster game. You get so high, you know, you, you, you get your emotions up at a point in time, look like Ralasa State was going to run away with this game, and then, you know, you get your lows. You get your low moments, and Ralasa, I mean, Delta State came back and answered every touchdown, yeah. like you said. So the Blazer defense needs to put on a performance like they did, Tom, on that first drive of the third quarter. Absolutely. When they dominated. But uh, Wooden is very a very cool character back there. He doesn't get frustrated, flustered, or anything with all the pressure. You know, he just gets up and goes to the next play. He's got one back. He brings a receiver in motion. There's a flag. It looked like it was a <laughs> something didn't happen right on that play. Now that was that was a great statement. Yeah, just we, we got a flag, and uh, and you say something happened weird on that, probably so. <laughs> it, 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 it's up, it just looked funny. I don't know what it was. I don't can't even describe what it was. But uh, it's cost him five yards. Be second and or first and fifteen. Different day. Mm -hmm. Rondius Truesdale, the running back in there. He's got four receivers, a couple on each side of the field. He wants to throw. He does throw, and it catches made, and it's tackled at a thirty-yard line. It'll be. Second down, they pick up some good yardage on that. Oh, yeah, that's where they're going to mark on 30. 29, 29 oh, yard line. It's only maybe. picked up uh, about three, actually two. Clock's at eight minutes on this snap right now. Inside eight minutes, Blazers lead 38-33. Wooden changing the play. Looks over the line. His coach is on the far side of the field and giving him a new play. Two, four receivers, three on the far visitor side one on the home side place of defenders and there's a flag and that's uh, going to be something else again here it wasn't the time clock probably when the lineman move fall start for it's delta state it's going to make it second and 13 740 to go it's, it's really been a it's been a weird game it has been. I mean, been. Lord, I just hope we can hang on here and somehow get out of here with a win. The clock can't move fast enough if you're right off the state. So, same formation, second down and 13, 725 to go in the third quarter. Valosta State leads at 38 to 33 against a Delta State team that every time the Blazer does something good, they come right back with their own answer to it. Option down the line. He stops, wants to throw back, has some people out there to 25. At the 30, dives over some people, gets the first down at the 49-yard line. Yeah, what, uh, that's the screenplay. Uh, he went out to the left side and, and, and spin through, spun around and threw it to the right side. Uh, and it was basically a line there to try to carry him down the field to get the first down for Delta State. Delta's playing really good football right now offensively. And the Blazer defense has got to figure out a way. Slow him down because the touchdown here. Gives them the lead in this football game. Can't overcommit if you're uh, about off the state because they're trying everything, pulling everything out the basket out of the book uh, for you right now and to try to get this win against a good about off the state team. Bring a receiver in motion. They're going to hand it off inside and he's hit and not going to get, uh, going to get a couple on the play. That's uh, number 30 for them, uh, Rondreas. Rondreas. And number eight, Truesdale. number 31 on our stop. Seemed like uh, three of our guys were right there on the stop, and then he kind of squeezed through all three of them. Uh, finally, he get them down after about two or three-yard game. Second and eight. Clock's running 8-15. Blazers holding on to a slim five-point advantage. There's both teams offensively just putting up some big, big offensive numbers. Bring that receiver in motion. Hand off inside and picks up across the... 45 to the just across, not even to the 44. So it's going to be here's another third down play. 
third and one, two, three, right at four yards. And like you said, the big uh, third down play because if you if you notice, this is where they try to take their uh, their big shots. You know, get downfield, scramble, get good protection for the quarterback, and see if he can open up something. Uh, and this uh, the big touchdown plays came on third down. It is inside five and a half minutes to go. Delta State got another little drive going inside Blazer territory at the 45. Need four yards to keep the drive going. Wooden drops back. He wants to throw, wants to go downfield, and it's incomplete. Boy, he had him there, and he dropped it. It was a low, it was a good pass, but it would have been a good catch, Tom. Been an uh, excellent catch. Uh, I saw it hit the ground pretty quickly from down here, but. Uh, so they appear to be going for this here on fourth down. Well, I, I mean, hey, they've stopped us the last couple of drives. I guess they think if they don't make it, they can stop us. How about this? Four or five receivers. Unless they're just going to let the play clock, but I think they're going to go for it. It's 11 seconds. Now they're going to try to get us to jump. We hope. Now they're going to snap it. Going to throw. Forced him out of the pocket. Trying to run for it. He's going to get the first down. I can't believe it's not a hold. Looked like he, uh, our defensive lineman got held a little bit there. I, I cannot imagine that you didn't see yellow on that. So a big first down run gets it inside the, where they're going to split it at the 32 yard line. Five minutes and four, it's going to be inside five minutes on this snap. Delta State with an opportunity to take the lead in this football game after trailing as many as 17. As you see a uh, blitz coming up from Ross State. Wants to throw. Wants to up end zone. We got people down there. Touchdown. Gives Delta State a 39 to 38 lead. And we never again, Tom, look back there on the coverage. Dominique Wheeler was running step by step with him and never turned his head back and just he went up and caught it right over him. And Delta State, unbelievably, is going to take a 40 to 38 lead on Valdosta State here. The Blazers again have led by 17 points two times, I believe. We've been up in, uh, you know, in this game and just seems like uh, I, I don't know what it is, but it, it, it's taking the motion out of. Uh, They're going to go State. for two. Scar uh, excuse me, Charles. Going to go for two to make it a three point game. Everything's working for him now. And if that wasn't over there. That was pushing. If that's not pushing off, what is? And that's it. Uh, be the extra point was the two point was good. Makes it 41 38. Blazers well, find themselves trailing 41 to 38. Had two leads of over seven or 17 points at least. Now the Blazer offense is going to be challenged here because Delta State is on fire. It's a short kick. It's going to be Matt Pierce cannot see it. Now he picks it up at the seven eight, trying to find a seam to run into it. He gets to the corner and turns it and stops and they knock him out of bounds at the 30. So good return from Matt. He was fighting that son all the way. And it'll be first and ten for the Blazers and the offense has got to respond. We've had. One turnover, but it was returned for a touchdown on the pass interference. Four and a half minutes to go in the third, and somehow Delta State, boy, to their credit, they they they're a pretty dang good football team. I, I tell you, offensively they did extremely well. The Blazers had them under control offensively in that first half, but they still put on big points. They get a late substitution. That's going to cost them five yards. Boy, their coaches are hot over there. And they only have one timeout. They've had to use a couple of timeouts for reasons that were, they probably wish they could take back. That's happened to them two or three times today, maybe even more than that. So the Blazers now have it first and five, gets it to the 33 on the penalty. The Blazers trailing 41 to 38. Cochran has uh, Cedric O'Neill, who's been the, the Featured back all day today with Austin out. Out there, Sean Tavis makes the catch, gets the first down right at the 40. First and 10 for the Blazers. I'll tell you one thing, uh, you have to be uh, pretty pleased with uh, how you, you're coming out. And then let's see if we start the fast motion again for this offense for Ross State. Caden quickly has two backs with him now. Going to run with it, trying to get Cedric outside. There's nothing there, but he gets some yardage. Turned nothing in about two yards, maybe three. 
Let's see where they're going to give him. They're going to give him four, actually. So good. Turned out to be a pretty decent first down play there. Second and six. We'll be inside four minutes after this snap. And boy, this has been a long football game. It's two and a half hours on or old right now, and we don't haven't even started the fourth quarter. Of course, it was homecoming. I think that maybe is a little bit longer. I thought it was today was they did the Hall of Fame uh, honor. I mean, who's going to be inducted? But apparently, I was wrong on that. Maybe it's the last home game of the year. Moving the play or the clock up, the play clock up to 25. First and ten, or second and uh, excuse me, six for Valdez State. Blazers trailing. Cade quickly out there to Sean Tavius. Has the first down, and they sling him out of bounds across the 50. And who would have thought you would have said that uh, after the first half that Valdosta State had, uh, that Delta State would be leading here in the third quarter, 41 to 38. Stopped them on that first drive, then uh, they got on fire again and had the pass interception for a touchdown, and Blazers quickly to the line of scrimmage. Sean Tavius over here again by himself with uh, C.J. Lester, a 5'10 cornerback. Caden going to keep it, a good fake, stops, cuts, and gets to the ground, but he picks up uh, only one they're going to give him. Look how far the guy's playing off stretch over here. Well, they've gone to that short pass a, a lot. Again, they're going to run. The Blazers are. Cedric is trying to get outside. He does and crosses and gets the first down to 35. Cedric O'Neill with another good run. Cedric uh, very quietly had 83 net rushing yards in the first half. Wow. I mean, uh, he, he did it really quietly. Like you said, a lot of the attention was focused on uh, Shatavis Jones because of what he's done in that first half uh, for this fellow state offense. Guys, I'm not moving. I'm staying right here. Reggie Lewis and Shatavis on this near side. Again, Cedric. And again, it, it just looked like there was something inside and he tries to come out with it. But again, we're up above the field. Yeah. And he's certainly a good running back. And I've got, got a quick question. But he, I, I still think he, and they got a guy down on the field. They'll send their trainers out. He's actually rolling over, maybe just stunned for a moment. 258 to go in the third. Van Austin State 41, or excuse me, the, the guest, Delta State 41, Van Austin 38. And to me, too, uh, Dick, it seems like he's trying to bounce outside where he can probably take the first cut and take the hole in between the, uh, you know, where his linemen are giving him the holes at. And he's trying to get extra, extra yardage, but uh, sometimes you got to take the first option because the second option is not there. Um, but, you know, he's going to learn, and, and this is why we're playing these games. Absolutely. It's just the, the history of this uh, Delta State, Valdosta State series has, has just been a while when you guys talked about it some during your pregame show. And uh, it's, it's just been really some close, close games oh, over the years. This game right here is close. Uh, this is, this, when you were up by 17, nobody would have thought to come back and say, you know, that they would come back and take the lead. I mean, nobody, it's a lot of things that happen in this game, you know, it, that, that, it's unthinkable that another team would come back and keep fighting. And when people say Delta State's down and they're playing a good game like they are right now, man, I, I tell you what, it's a lot of fight in this Delta State team. The, the, the game, some weird things that happened was we called the, the non-rain game over in Delta when Dusty Bonner was here. And they killed us one day over there, and the field was soaking, sogging, just like there had been a thunderstorm. And I'll finish that. <laughs> 253 to go. It's uh, second and basically 10 for Valdosta State trailing by a score of 41 to 38 they're showing a blitz off the corner on the far side now they drop off Shontavious going downfield again Shontavious touchdown Valdosta State makes it 41 to, or excuse me 44 to 41 that's his fourth touchdown today you just can't they just can't this is the matchup which ties the school record boy just he just runs away from him and i don't understand why they don't giving his kid some help over there i'll tell you what him. uh when it comes down to shatavius jones he is actually getting uh his space on him and he's showing that he doesn't need to push off to get that space but but i just i'd be curious to ask hopefully if we win this thing why is he did he not get any help the whole football game Snaps good, holds good, the kick good. is good, makes it 45-41 with two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. 
We're just talking about these weird games with these two teams, and I was talking about that non rain game where the Valdosta State was beating people like crazy that year, and uh, we go over to Delta Plus State, and it, it's almost, we're, we're not 100% sure, but rumor was that they just soaked the field with the water sprinkling They system. flooded it, man. They because, flooded uh, the softball field. Valdosta too. State was an extremely speed team back in those days. Well, that's one way to stop a speed team. Uh, is the soaker field. So here we go. Let's see if somebody can stop somebody. There's a kick. It's a line drive. It's a good one. It's going to hit, and now it's going to go out, out of bounds. bounds. And of all things, the kid's been picking great, and that one goes out, and that's going to get them a great field position to start at, uh, I believe, the 35. I do believe. So let's see if the Blazers defense, they had a little time to rest over there after a pretty nice drive from the Blazers. And, 86 points, and we haven't even started the fourth quarter, so we're probably well within range of 100 here. And uh, it's it's uh, somebody's got to stop somebody, or you would definitely want the football last. Yeah, I, I, I most definitely said you know at the beginning of this game, it's all all be dependent on what defense can stop, uh, make good stops first, and Valdosta State looks like they can do that. 45-41, Valdosta State. Shontavious Jones with four touchdown receptions today. Had one, another one called back. They send a receiver in motion. They're going to hand it. No, he's going to throw downfield. He wants to throw downfield and overthrow somebody. For, and there's a flag on Valdosta State. And still hadn't looked back yet. And he actually oh, fell down. Yeah, I don't think that. I, I, let's hope that we get a call here, but I think it's going to be pass interference on Valdosta State. Because they're pointing there, the referee is, and uh, that's what it's going to be. That's had to give them a first down right on the 50-yard line. So here comes Delta State again. Both secondaries are struggling today, quite obviously. Haven't seen, uh, we'll get the third quarter stats after a while, but... Two and a half minutes to go. Delta State gets a 15-yard penalty pass interference on Valdosta State's Lance Holder. Uh, there's some crazy numbers in this game. I'll give it to you the final step here in a minute. Shotgun with one back. He usually has been bringing a receiver in motion, but yeah, he does this time from the far side. Inside handoff and picks up a couple of yards. Maybe they're going to give him three. This one you got to be careful with the emotion. Jeremy Grable was in there along with Lawrence Stone, along with Chris Pope. Uh, Listen to this stat right here, Tom and Dick. 845 total combined yards in this game already. We haven't even started the fourth quarter. Huh. I'm concerned about those not being up on their side and up on ours. Second, and, second and seven. Trevor Wooden. Neither defense. They've had some moments where they've been able to stop the other team, but boy, it's it's been wide open. Big, big, big plays. Quarterback hands off. Uh, no, he keeps it and options it and gets to within about two yards of the first down. So to be another third down for Delta State. Clock's running a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Valosta State 45, Delta State 41. Third down and two for Delta State. I tell you what, uh, this defense for Valdosta State, we're trying everything we can. We're throwing it all at them uh, just to see if we can stop. We got to get somebody on the outside. Quick snap, quarterback keeper, and Lawrence Virgil got him and stopped him short, and he lost about three yards on the play. Lawrence Virgil with a huge play, and Delta State will. Looks like they're going to go for it. 86, Lawrence Virgil. They did it a while ago. They went for it. It's a loss of two yards. Fourth and four. So let's see if the Blazers can get a big stand, get the crowd into the football game. A good crowd here today on homecoming, over 6,600. This is the same setup as last time. They snapped it with three seconds to go. Play clock's down to 10. I think they tried to get us into maybe a little lawmo where we don't think they're going to snap it. It's down to five seconds. Blazers are ready this time. There's the snap. He wants to throw. He does throw. Incomplete. And the Blazers intercepted. stop it. Almost, Almost an interception for Matt Pierce. And the Blazers get a good stop right there to keep the lead. 45-41 with 27 seconds to go. 
great field position at our own 44-yard line. Now here's another big chance for Valdosta State. I would say score here, and we can kind of ice it, but that's not no. the case in this game. Because we can't ice one. We, yeah, we've seen them come back from 17 down. We've seen them come back and fight on. We need to try to get through this play. That big breakup by Matt Pierce brings him into second uh, on the all-time. Uh, Caden brings a man in motion. Going to run it. Trying to get outside. Stiff arm at the 50. He crosses the 50. Good run there by O'Neill with 20 seconds to go in the first in the third quarter. Excuse me, Charles, go ahead. Uh, that, sorry about that. Uh, that. That breakup by Matt Pierce moves him to second place all-time in uh, deflections for Valdosta State huh. history. Boys, we got stats for everything, don't we? Yeah, we do. And I guarantee you that Sharntavious <clears throat> Jones will break field. a couple of uh, career records after today is over with. Far side of the field, Chris Anderson going with uh, Gerald Ford and Reggie Lewis. Sharntavious over here by himself, and that poor guy over here, he, I think he can get some more help if he wants it. Going to run it again. Cedric has a hold to 40, cuts towards the sidelines, back in. He's at the 30, still on his feet, spins and gets down about the 25-yard line. Cedric O'Neill having a huge game today. He's the featured ticket running back. Austin Scott is out. Has not played it down this game after the injury last week. Into the third quarter, Blazers leads at 45-41. Blazers with the handoff, short, short run inside the 20, picks up about uh, close to five yards. Let's see where we'll get the spot. Looks like it's going to be on about the... Uh, Just inside the 20, looks like, Tom. So yeah, a, a good five-yard run that time. And Cedric O'Neill keeps rushing well. What was it, Charles? 134 rushing yards net? Yeah, he has a... Right now, he has 143 yards right now, and I believe oh, 134 net, which is his, his actually... Um, you know, his career high. Second and five, just starting the, the uh, final quarter out in the flat. Catch is made at 15, the 10. Reggie M. Laird, touchdown, there's a flag. Got three flags. That Another holding call is going to cost Valdosta State a touchdown. Second touchdown return today that will be called back. Coach Dean on the field, but he's off now. Reggie Lewis with the catch and just sprinted in for a short uh, touchdown, but that's going to cost Valdosta State 10 yards. And I, I, you can see that coming up. On Sean Tavius was the call. Didn't wasn't looking over there. Didn't see the call, but it wasn't even that close to the play. Yeah, and it didn't affect. That's what that's what he's yelling at him about. It didn't have any effect on the play, and that's what Coach Dean was. That, that is one saying. side I would not go to. Sorry about that, Tom. I wouldn't even go to that side. I would do it to this side every time because your sideline uh, versus their sideline. 14-14 to go. Blazers' second touchdown of the afternoon been, has been called back. Three receivers over here. Sean Tavis again with single coverage on that far side of the field. I mean, right in Cedric, and Sean Davis's face. So now he backs off a little bit. Caden wants to throw. He does throw. Catch is made over there at the 20, and they knock him out at the 20. And it'll be second and five for the Blazers. And as uh, everybody gets... A little bit shaky here. Uh, Reginald Lewis went right down the middle of the field. It was Brings wide open. Oh, wide open, guys. It'd right be, uh, excuse me, it's third and five for the Blazers. Wide open. That's one thing that we have to do is go through the progressions as well. I know you kind of stare down your, your receiver, but got to look at the other guy. Got to get it to the 15-yard line to keep the drive going. Caden, they're showing blitz. Then they back. Here they come. After Clayton, or Caden looks for a new play. Justin Roberts going through some stuff over there that nobody could figure out. Over the middle, catch is made, and he knocked down at the one yard line. What a good catch by Gerald Ford. Helmet to helmet, helmet, helmet great, guys. Great catch by Gerald Ford, and going to move it inside the two down to about the one yard line. So the helmet, 15 yarder, moves it one yard. First and goal for Valdosta State. Boy, that was a heck of a catch, Charles. What, what a great catch and a great ability to hold on to the ball after a helmet-to-helmet -helmet, uh, incident like that. That was great play, great look from Kaden Cocker to float it just enough to where only, uh, you know, Gerald Ford can get that ball. The most points Delta State has scored this year has been 38 against West, uh, against Tarleton State. Of course, Valdosta State had the 58 against Edward Waters, 62 against Fort Valley. 
And this is not a Fort Valley. And this, yeah, yeah this, this is against a good football team. So they're moving down to the one yard line, I guess. Blazers have a chance to knock it in there again. 13-26, will this game ever end? Will it ever end? <laughs> we need to go in for a score right here. Let's get into this. Uh, we need six here. Two backs, shotgun for Caden. They're showing blitz again. Here they come. Hand off to Cedric. Touchdown, Touchdown about Touchdown. Austin State Stand off the up. left side. No flags. Blazers take a 52 51 to 41 lead. They are making us win this one. Uh, seriously, they're making the offense work every bit of it. Uh, this is a great game, a great rivalry. Uh, you know, right off the state is sticking with it. We did put our heads down where we were down, and now we go back up. Watch out for them on the kickoff, though. Absolutely. I mean, they've proven they're, they're not concerned. They've come back from 17 twice, wants to take the lead. <laughs> this is, they're just getting out where they'll start playing again. Kicks up, makes it 52 to 11. All right, here we go. Blazers back with a 11-point lead, 13-13 to go in the football game. There's a kickoff. There's a good deep kickoff. It's going to go back three or four yards deep. He's going to bring it out. Trying to go to the middle field. He has some room at the 20. And good trip up there. Number 35. Uh, 25. 25. That was 25 for Valdosta State on the tackle. Uh, Jazz and Anderson, a quarterback, sophomore. That boy, young guy, the returner, had some room on that hole there. But third quarter, through the third quarter, total offense, Blazers 508 yards, Delta State 371. Have passed it, the Blazers have for 332, Delta State for 295. Blazers have rushed it for 176, Delta State for 76. Sean, Sean Davis, seven catches, 196 yards, wow. four touchdowns. I'll get you some other numbers in a moment. Delta State first and 10 from its own 20. The final 13 minutes and eight seconds of this football game, we hope, is happening. Going to hand it off on the right side. Good run on the far side of the field over there by uh, Rowdyus Truesdale. He picks up uh, six to seven. On that last uh, scoring drive for Valdosta State, seven plays, 56 yards, two minutes, 14 seconds for the score for Valdosta State. I tell you what, Valdosta State, 359 passing yards uh, on today, which is the highest for them. 542 yards total for VSU today. The highest is 561 against Fort Valley. Here's the snap day. Looks to the line of scrimmage or to the sidelines to get the change in play. Well, I don't mind them running off, uh, you know, 23 seconds each 12 time. minutes and 25 seconds to go. They bring a guy in motion. They give it. To, now the quarterback keeps it. And he goes. Doesn't get make it. Tackle and he's going to be just. Uh, it's going to be short by half a yard. Good tackle there, Tom. Uh, maybe Tevin Davis. Maybe Lauren Nidas. Not sure. Quickly to the line of scrimmage on third down and less than a yard. Quarterback sneak and they get the first down. If they want to eat some clock up, I'm, I'm perfectly hey, content with if we can stop them. That's what I'm telling you guys. I've watched they running it down to within five seconds each time. What a wild game. 52 to 41 Valdosta State leads with 12 minutes and four seconds to go in this football game, which would do, well, this game started at three o'clock. This may be the longest uh, game that I can remember. And we got a defensive lineman down, number 74, Andrew uh, Loristin, a de defensive tackle uh, for us. He's down on the ground right now, medical staff going out to treat him. Got a little cramp, I think, guys. Loristin down on the field. Credit to Ed Hooper, the fifth injury timeout of the game uh, as Ed Hooper, and he was also the guy that told me about the 800, and I believe it was, what, 45, 42 uh, total yards on today's game. Have I told you guys a story about Twitter? I don't think we won't hear that one again. Somebody <laughs> might ha hack into this conversation. <laughs> I think we heard the, the Twitter one uh, before uh, there, Dick. And we're at 924 total yards for both teams today uh, in this game. So we're, we're moving up and we're moving fast with 12 minutes, four seconds to go in this game. Number 74, Andrew Lawrence. Let's give him a coming off the field. That's another top-notch player we've lost today there's been three Quinn Robertson was actually taken to the hospital some cautionary checking and it was very very careful moving uh, Quinn and we 
understand that he's going to be okay to not hurt anything official yet. But, We're getting uh, beat up, aren't we, Dick? Well, that's three starters off the field. Now, here we go. It's first and 10 for Delta. 12.04 to go in the game. Blazers lead it by 11 points, 52 to 41. All kinds of wild offensive numbers today. Wooden brings a guy in motion. He rolls right. They want to go Goes down field, hit, and almost, and is on the drop. Holy cow, what a great play almost from Jer Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy Grable, Grable almost ends up with it. Went off of their defender. He had it and started to pull it in, lost it, and then was hit. I'll tell you what, it was, it, it, it was right there on the tips of his hands. You can see he wanted to grab that ball and actually secure it, but he couldn't he get it, it and, and bring it in. As you hear the fans and everybody down there said that they have it. 11.44 to go in the game, second and 10. Valosta State leads it 52 to 41. Come on, boy, do it again. Do it one more time. There's a snap. He wants to throw. And he breaks, clears it to 40, and he dives down to 45-yard line. He had him, and we got another Blazer down on the far side of the field. Holy cow. I tell you, we're going down. Lawrence Virgil, going. guys. The coaches, training staff, and, I mean, these guys, Tom, are guys you don't see. If they're on the field, they're hurt. Because uh, every guy that's been hurt today, you know, you have, sometimes you have guys that go down a lot, Charles. Absolutely. Yeah. But these guys... They don't want to come out of the football game, so Lawrence Virgil's down for Valdosta State right now. Coach Dean. We're just flying one by one. Coach Dean's getting his workout in, uh, and, going out into this field. And you don't see that much. I'm going to ask you about You very rarely see a head coach Man. unless it's a serious, yeah. serious injury. The sixth injury timeout of this game. Lasers are going to get Lawrence Virgil up off the ground, and a couple of the bigger players, let's say, are going to help him off the field because I don't think our training staff could quite handle that. <laughs> yeah, he's coming off. And uh, yeah. Right right leg, it looks like, right ankle, you never know. But uh, it's first and 10 for Delta at their own 45-yard line. We had just a so close to a big interception there, but uh, it was off a tip pass, and Jeremy Grable had it and then lost it, and it was just getting ready to gather it in and, and got hit pretty good, I believe. Training staff going to have their hands full this week with uh, people in the training. Here's the first down play for Trevor Wooden. Wants to throw. Looking, looking. Throws deep downfield. He's got a man breaking open. Can't quite get there. Look for the field judge. He, it's hard to, to know what they're going to do. Most of the flags I'm glad it was on, the side. Been on the far side <laughs> of the field. I'm glad it was on the outside of the field uh, because I can almost guarantee you if it was on their side of the field, the flag would have came out. Yeah, that thing was, it was me, not catchable. I don't tell believe. me if I'm not wrong. Most of the flags have been thrown by the guy on the far side of the field. You're absolutely right. You're, you're absolutely right. And it's second down and 10, 11, 24 to go in the game. This, this game is never going to end. We were really good with that. Three receivers. Now they bring one in motion to the laser side of the field. The quarterback keeps it. He's going to option it. Looks like he does pitch it. It's a good pitch. Cross to 40. And run out of bounds. He's run out of bounds over there to four. That's, a, that's really a good option run and a good pitch and a good catch and a good run gets them a first down. So here comes Delta State again. The one thing they're doing for us is they're killing the clock. I, 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 and like Tom said, I'll be happy as, as long as they keep running down the, the, the clock and uh, killing it for us because, you know, they just took, what, five or six minutes off this clock already. First and 10 at Valosta State's 40-yard line. Wooden's got them rolling again. He's a dangerous quarterback. He does a lot of things really well. Receiver in motion, far side, bad snap. Quarterback keeps it, and he's tripped up. What a good play out there from Valdosta State's Tevin Davis. Again, my pregame interview with Tevin, and boy, he just reached that big old right paw out there and just tripped him up. You know, sometimes if you hit him in the right spot, it'll work. Yeah, absolutely. Great play by Tevin, and he's been in that backfield a couple of times today. He's uh, really reading the, de the offense really good. He knows what plays are coming. He reads that option play really well. You can tell he practices it a lot in practice. Going to send two guys to the far side, one to the near side. Going to go with two backs this time, and their line, offensive lineman moved, I believe, first. That should cost them five. Let's see. Let's go, 
Let's see what the call is. Referee. False start. All sides Valdosta State. Okay. It's second down and uh, seven, I believe now. Box running at 10 minutes and 19 seconds. Blazers lead at 52 to 41. When this score goes over the wire, Division 2, the D2.com webpage, and, uh, it'll probably open some eyes to what the heck's going on in Georgia. Yeah, absolutely. And it attack, breaks a tack on them. They swamped, and then there's another flag that comes flying in here late. And oh. They're going to call something on Matt Pierce, it looks like. Matt's holding his hands out. Look like the Delta State player is, is down, um, and uh, this might, this one right here might, I don't, I don't know. Tom, did you see anything? I didn't think he was anywhere close. I mean, I didn't, he was five or six yards away when I saw the flag come out. We're getting back in the kind of penalties we're used to. We only had three through the third quarter, but gosh, gosh I think we've had, what, four or five in this third quarter. Yeah, I would, I, I would love to see what, uh, you know, what what number of pillars we had here in the second half. What did he do? That's a personal foul on Matt Pierce. And that's going to cost Valdosta State 15, moves it all the way down inside the... He's at the 21-yard line, so. Tom, did you did you see him do no, anything down there? Not at all. And uh, that's. Uh, Could you hear uh, Tom? Anything Coach was saying? No, uh, he just he said, "Let's go on the system. Next play, next play, come out." So maybe maybe they saw something. Ten minutes, one second to go. Delta State drive it again, and uh, the last two plays, 20 yards in penalties against Valdosta State. They were actually back at the 41-yard line and ran two plays, two penalties has him first down at the 21. 10 minutes will finally be in single digit minutes here in just a moment, but that's gonna be an eternity as it looks like Delta State, barring something, is gonna get into the end zone. I say that to hopefully challenge Valdosta State defense. They've made some good plays today. They've been dominant at times. But this is two offenses that have really taken advantage of a lot of things today. So here comes Trevor Wooden, going to go two backs with him, one on each side, one receiver each side. Got a tight end on this left side, the near side of the field. He wants to throw towards the end zone. He does throw, and talk to what a nice play from Matt Pierce again, Tom. And Right oh. at the last minute, he stretches his body out, and, uh, and he's, he just gets a, barely gets a hand on him, but just enough to save a touchdown. That was a touchdown. That was a beautiful play. Yeah, that was absolutely a great play by Matt Pierce to save a touchdown. This Delta State team just gained 20 yards off of two penalties here. Uh, one's a personal foul and one was a false start. I mean, one was an offside. So Matt Pierce took care of that personal foul that was called on him that cost us the last 15, but made a great play right there. But here it's still second and 10. They get a first down at the 11 o'clock, stopped at 940. Going to go one back and four receivers. Their lineman moved too yes, quick, and that's going to cost him five. Number 77 for this uh, Delta State team moved a little too fast. He's the same one that was involved when the Blazers were called for offside. So that'll cost him five, make it second and uh, 10, 15 for Delta State. Now all we need is to gain 15 yards back. <laughs> of, uh, it will be even uh, back to the spot where they started at. Nine minutes and 38 seconds. It's just not, the clock is not going to run fast enough for Blazer fans, I can tell you. 52 to 41. They're at the Blazer 26. Wooden wants to throw. Looking right, throws right, catches made, and he's run out of bounds. Only picked, well, he picked Stay up about in eight. Bounds. That's what we want. Stay in bounds. Uh, don't want to run them out of bounds. Let's move this clock. Picked up about eight yards on the play. Tell you what, this is a great ball game. Uh, the clock's still running, about 9.16 to go as this Blazer defense try to stop Delta State from going in uh, for try to score here at the 15-yard line. 
You can hear the crowd. Nine minutes going to be inside nine minutes on this snap. And there's a timeout on the field. Valdosta State. Blazers call a defensive timeout. And they have it uh, third down and five. 9.02 to go in the game. Blazers lead it by 11 points, 52-21. There's a snap. Wooden wants to throw towards the end zone. Knocked away. Good defensive play by Lance Holder. Stuck his hand, excuse me, just up there at the last second, and last, that saved the touchdown. Last second, guys, I'm that telling was, you. That was great defense. Uh, Tom, I'm sure you've seen it well down there. When he came down, with the, he had the ball when he came down, but it was coming out. I mean, it was just great, great play. To me, Charles, you got it. I mean, why, unless you don't have to, why don't you go for the three points here? You got to have two scores. They're, they're thinking they're going to go for it here. Um, fourth down. They've been successful, though. The last time they weren't. I want to see who bumps out on number 85. They've they got five out. receivers. There's the snap. Wood wants to throw. Look and throws to the end zone. Nobody there, and the Blazers' defense has held up. Unbelievable. Boy, he just threw that one almost out of the stadium down there, Tom. Great job. Good job, guys. Good job. I'm telling you, everybody's excited down on this end. Absolutely. Now all we have to do is do our job. Uh, and, and try to get down and don't let them get great field position. Don't turn over the ball in their area, and we should be good to go here. But here's the thing, Charles. If they if they kick the field goal, they're down by eight. Yeah. If they they have to go for two and get it, there's no guarantee. Why not get the three? Why not get the three, Dick? I'm questioning that. Well, I'm and, unless you're talking. thinking we can't stop them. Well, they should have went and got some points. You're absolutely right yeah. about that. We'll take it, though. Let's see if the Blazers can eat up some clock like we did last week. In that game against North Alabama, Cedric O'Neill off the left side, and nothing for him this time. He gets the line of scrimmage, maybe. Seems like this game right here, the clock is not moving. Seems like we've been on eight, nine minutes forever in this game. Uh, Ed Hooper did tell us, you know, six or seven timeouts, uh, injury timeouts in this game. Then we had a 30-minute, 15, 30-minute timeout. Uh, for one of them, it was it's pretty long game. About, well, I'm sure we're hitting on the three hour mark for this game. Uh, we are at three hours right now at six o'clock. So shot Tavis over there again, got single coverage and he's been successful all day. I know Coach Dean would love to run for it. We're going to be inside eight minutes. Quickly out in the flat to Sean Tavius. He wants to try to get the first down, but a good tackle over there by number 12 has been the guy that's number uh, six or eight I can't tell looks like eight CJ Lester yeah it was number eight in a great spot by the far official over and out of bounds down. yeah third down and short only thing that we could have done better on that one is probably stayed in bounds well the clock's running though as soon as they mark it I mean it's it's not much of a delay so it's inside 750 Blazers need two yards to keep this drive going you're letting that play clock run down to 14 seconds down to 13. Going to snap it. Bad snap or bad hold. We'll get to first day. Breaks clear at the 30. Cuts outside at the 35, the 36, the 37. Cedric O'Neill, a, a bobbled snap. It was not a bad snap. And, and this is the first time I've seen this. Reginald Lewis tackled our own guy. It was a bobble snap. <laughs> Reginald Lewis wrapped up and tackled our own guy. That's the first time I've ever seen that one. Uh, it, it, it was a good play. He was trying to get out the way. Uh, Cedric O'Neill is running really well. The clock's running, 7.20 to go. Blazers lead it, 11 points, 52 to 41. At our own 38-yard line, we are moving, some, moving the chains and eating some time up, as the coaches like to do. Caden going to run it again. Cedric oh, spins away from the tackle, still on his feet. Good hard running by Cedric O'Neill, picks up another 10 yards, and He's going to hit 200 yards this game, isn't he? Uh, absolutely. One thing I like about Cedric O'Neill, seems like as this game goes on, the better he gets. You know, the more he sees the holes open up. Cedric O'Neill, great spin right there to get away from the defense, to lose yards, to gain yards, to get a first down. Quick play, going to hand it off again to Theseus Jackson. Theseus gets across to 50, and why does the whistle come so late there, Tom? I have no idea. He's on one foot. And they got one. They got a guy down out there that's hurt. Clock stops at 6 minutes and 35 seconds to go, 52 to 41. And, Charles, I was asking, is, is O'Neill close to 200? I, I'm about to check right now. I will, I will give you that stat in one second. And I think O'Neill is at 166 60, yards. Yeah. Uh, so he is close. This is the eighth uh, timeout for injuries right here. 
uh, during this game. This is a very long game. That's a record. Sean, you got a record for that? <laughs> eight, eight injury timeouts. Uh, Sean will hop on that. He is the man that, that actually, uh, he, he gets every stat out of the world, makes us look good. Uh, like we know what we're talking about, Sean Reed and Ed Hooper, I must yeah. add to that. Uh, great to be surrounded by, you know, guys and, and, and then Tom down there on the field that makes us look good as well. Hey, hey, hey. The uh, the thing you notice, guys, that we didn't see last week, you, you watching Caden is staring at the clock up there and watching yeah. it getting it within That's true. five or six seconds. Great time time. management. Great time management by Caden Cochran to actually let the play clock get down to about 11 or 10. I think that's what you're seeing, Tom. Yes, sir. Uh, and then he's snapping the ball. Now you let it go off 25 seconds instead of, yeah. you know, run, run 20. I mean, you get a minute there in a hurry. 6.35 to go. I guess we could have taken time out. They still got their guy down on the field, but they're getting him up now. And I thank Jack with all the uh, back at the station, and thanks for what a good job you do for us over there. But I think we've had enough points and timeouts today. We probably got a lot of commercial breaks in for all our sponsors, which we certainly appreciate. Without those folks, we probably wouldn't be here. Then our Blazer Radio Network, the largest one in Division II football, the anchor station, 92.1 in Valdosta, WJM 96.1 and 1150 AM in Valdosta, 97.7 FM, Quitman 107.5 in Jasper, 1240 AM in Fitzgerald, 920 AM in Hazelhurst, 1500 AM in Macon, and 92.9 .9 FM in Valdosta, our radio network. There's the snap, going to run with it, cut outside, got some room, stays and just runs out of bounds on there, Theseus Jackson. That boy, Theseus Jackson? Theseus gets some excitement. He's excited to be back. There's a flag at the 40, which never is good news for the offensive well, Dick, team. I don't know. I'm down here. I can't see around the players, but did they hit him out of bounds, or did we have a block in the back or oh, something? Oh, I, I would bet my house probably. <laughs> There's a hold. <laughs> it's going to be against Valdosta State. <laughs> Holding. <laughs> the offense, number eight. Hey, you would have most definitely got your house back on that car right there. 6.23 to go. Theseus made a good run. And and uh, we remember last year, and, and know he got, I know he got injured, but he was the back who came in later in the game when the teams were tired. And he, uh, he, he was he was a good runner against Delta State last year. Uh, had a, a lot of yards against Delta State team last year. Second and nine for the Blazers. 6-12 to go in the game, leading 52-41. Caden going to run it and keep it this time, trying to get outside. And he just goes to the ground, doesn't take a chance of uh, a fumble or anything. So it's going to be third and 11. So here's a big play. Yeah, absolutely. Clock's running inside six minutes at 5.52. Cedric O'Neill back into the lineup for the Blazers. And look, look for Gerald Ford or... or uh, <laughs> if it's third, guys, and I, go, I know I'm going to pass it, I'm still looking at the Centavious over there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Play clock's down to 18 seconds. Do we want to throw it? And it looks like we do. One thing you got to remember, though, that side of the field, not friendly territory. Caden run that clock down very nicely inside five seconds now on the snap. He is going to look to throw over the middle. What a throw, catch first down, Gerald Ford all the way down to 25, breaks a tackle to 20, Gerald at the 10, Gerald at the five, the six yard line. Oh man, what a throw and a catch. I tell you what, Caden Cochran put it in a window that nobody could have fit it in. It was a perfect throw, first of all, by Caden Cochran. From this and angle, perfect. I'm telling you, I saw the bucket oh, that he was throwing it into. It closed so fast. Tom, how you were talking about holes closing, that hole closed fast. And for Gerald Ford to catch that ball and keep running yards after the catch makes this team so good. Comes Reggie Lewis into the lineup. Gerald Ford back into the lineup. <laughs> Some issues with substitutions for Delta State Blazers first and goal. Caden's going to give it to number seven. Wants to get outside. Touchdown, Valdosta State makes it 58 to 41 with 4:38 to go in the football game. And I do feel better. I feel better, guys. But I promise you, I don't say anything about dagger in the heart with this group. I mean, we just, uh, boy, we just have seen this so much, haven't we, Dick? Yeah, yeah. It's a two touchdown and a field goal in four and a half minutes. I feel pretty good. This for the extra point to make it 59. 
And good. Blazers do. Welcome back to Baysmore Hutler Stadium. Four minutes, 38 seconds to go in the game. Valosta State, another touchdown, makes it 59 to 41. Blazers are up 18 points. It's always good to hear that band play. I tell you, when they're pumped up, the fans are pumped up. Great time in Valosta. Just don't have a big return here. Don't let them do anything silly. Just knock them down somewhere on the field. They only have one timeout left. He's got a hole. He's at the 30, at the 40, the 45, the 50. He runs out of bounds. He went out of bounds about the 50-yard line. Look, looks like the 49-yard line. He ran out of bounds. 4.33 to go. It's really a lot more return than you wanted. But you just, you, also, you don't want any quick score here. They've only Absolutely. got one timeout. Tom and Dick, listen to this. Right now, Valosa State is at 636 yards total offense, third best in school history. We need 23 yards to be in first, to get tied to first, uh, which is 659 total yards of offense. The second best, 648 yards. We're going to get there tonight, I believe. Here's Trevor Wood. Good field position at his 49-yard line. This team has shown it can score in minutes. Forced him out of the pocket. He has to throw and a good catch for a first down at the 40. You know, I know you got the 18-point lead, Charles, but another touchdown, you just right back into the... Absolutely. I mean, you know, they, they, they do this heavy up offense and get right back into it. Just make them eat some clock up. Again, they only have a timeout left. There's a snap. Wooden wants to throw. He does throw and catches. He drops it. Right into the hands of number 85 over there, Kevin Jackson. He drops it second and 10. We're playing safe defense. We're giving them a lot of cushion, uh, you know, about a three or four yard cushion to catch the ball and then try to tackle them. The problem I have with it is that if we don't wrap up, they're getting a lot of yards after the catch, which should be, which can be bad. Can they deliver? Can they bring us one down? Four minutes and 11 seconds to go. Blazers lead at 49, 59 to 41. Delta State at second and 10 at the Blazer 40 yard line. Low snap, quarterback wants to throw and he's hit and he is sacked in the backfield. Big play from Jeremy, Jeremy Grable. Grable. What a game he has had. That is a big sack by Jeremy Grable. This, these linebackers have had a big game. Jeremy Grable, Chris Pope, They've done a lot for this defense. That was one of the biggest sacks of the game to move them back uh, for a third and long. Clock's inside, three minutes and 40 seconds, third down and 18. Blazers in a three-man front this time, throw down field, and good defense there from Valdosta State, and we got an interception. Intercepted. Valdosta State intercepts the football. <laughs> Number 14, I believe it was. I thought it was 14, Alex Webster, but it, I don't see 14 out there. Yeah, number 14, Alex Webster, was the was their interception, and he ran off the field so fast, that's why. He blitzed off the field. He ran, ran, ran into this mass of humanity over here. Three and a half minutes to go. The Blazers with the huge interception, a great defensive stand right there after the big kickoff return. And I could now say that this is the final, this is the end of the talk of a minute and 42 seconds. Uh, I would hope so. I Dallas mean. State lost last year to West Georgia, to North Alabama, and Delta State in a combined time, if I remember, a minute and 42 seconds. Yes. and this, this We have defeated North Alabama, West Georgia, and now Delta State. Delta State was the first was the first. The uh, Blazers lose about 10 yards on that play. Delta State was the first game we lost. Ed was over there with us. Uh, think, did you get on that one, Ed? I'm not sure if you did. When they scored, we threw it. We had the game. And then we had an interception return for a touchdown, and it went downhill. And then we lost the uh, North Alabama close game, and then we lost to West Georgia. It was flipping that way, West Georgia, and then North Alabama. So this will not necessarily wipe it away, but we've sort of cleaned the slate here. But 2.53 to go, clock's running, 59 to 41. The Blazers lead it. We will talk with Coach Dean after the game. Hand off to Cedric, and they're playing some good defense now. It'll be third down for Valdosta State. A 
tell you what, we're not getting any yardage on this, uh, these run plays, but you're trying to kill the clock. You watch the clock run and see they have no t their timeouts. Are, uh, yeah, well, they got one. Got one left. And uh, you just place, you just don't want to do anything ridiculous down here. They can run the play clock down and they haven't even started yet. They just took their final timeout. Their final Caden avoids a sack and just throws it downfield, incomplete. Oh, Said man, he had an open field. <laughs> How he got away back there, I don't know, but the clock stops with 2.27 to go. Blazers will have to punt the footballs. How Caden was able to get away from that is beyond me, but it's fourth down and a forever to go, 17 to go. So Valdez State's Daniel Anderson. I'm glad this is the fourth quarter because that was a sloppy series right there for Valdez State. Well, I think they're trying to run the clock with running plays, but it just nothing worked. And they're going to be an all-out coming. To, I don't know if we're going to rugby kick this one this time or just kick it. He is going to rugby kick it, and it's another good one. Big bounce. And the run, he's just not going to be. That's the thing about it, Charles. You just the, the runner return man wants to get it, but but he never knows how the, the bounce is going to go. Hey, and, Dick, can yeah. I ask y'all quick, sure. real quick, number one or number seven? Pardon me, what? Well, number one oh. or number seven after the game? Oh, that's a good choice. Uh, who's who? Uh, uh, why don't you have? Uh, they yep. both have had an exceptional game. That's fine. If, okay. if coach is okay with that. All right. Uh, of course, I think you have to get Shartavia Jones on after his uh, spectacular game. And then Cedric O'Neal to step in in the lead role at running back. You have to get him on as well. Two minutes and 17 seconds to go. Blazers lead at 59-41. Delta State trying to score quickly. And he's going to run, and he's not going to get the first down. He's going to be short. They have no timeouts. Clock will be inside two minutes now on this snap in the Valdez State Blazers. What a wild, as wild a game as we've seen in a long time, and I've seen. It's been a long time coming for the fans and for Coach David Dean to see a win against the Delta State uh, club here. So we'll get uh, Shontavious Jones, and we'll get uh, O'Neal out here. Throw catches made, and they're trying to keep number two in bounds, but he gets out of bounds. Minute 42, so we'll get Cedric O'Neill and Sean Tavius Jones after the game, and then Coach Dean. Remind you the Coach David Dean highlight show. You can watch tomorrow at 12:30 on WALB. Out of Albany, Coach Dean will discuss the game with me and comment on the highlights of the game, of which I don't know how Jamie's going to get them all in this week. <laughs> it's just going to be a nightmare job, I'm sure, Jamie. <laughs> I'll see. You. Picking a play of the game. Wants to throw, forced him out of the pocket. They do throw, and he's hit immediately and goes down on a good hit there by Valdez to State's 21, Dominique Wheeler. You know, I was thinking of a play of the game, Jamie, do we sometimes with the defense. I think a, a big play of this game was the, the pass play in the end zone, the west end zone, when Matt Pierce knocked it away when they went on, was it fourth down? Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. That, I mean, that was third down. Incomplete. Not only was that a big play, but the other big play was on the corner where the quarterback threw it over the head, almost out of the stadium, like you said, uh, to turn over downs to kind of ice the game yeah. for us. Yep. But Jamie does all that. He picks the play of the game. and He has a lot to pick from. You yeah. want us to start a list for you, Jamie? We can start doing that. <laughs> no, he, it, he, if he doesn't like my call the, of the play, he's not going to use it. It could be the greatest play in the history of football. He wants to throw for it on third down. He does. Man out there, we got good coverage. I lost the state. Two guys out there. Amel Magwood is one of them, and the other one's Dominique Wheeler. 58 seconds to go. So fourth down for Delta State. Blazers going to get out of town with their fourth, or not out of town, going to stay home with our fourth win in a row. We're in the final 45 seconds of the game. Delta State trying to punch one in if they can. It's more than likely they're going to have a timeout. Coach Dean calls a timeout. And people say, why? What I think we had about 150 players out there. <laughs> Uh, we did have a lot. Well, out there. they were throwing the penalty flag, though, Tom. I think they do that in advance now. So the Blazers will be a short week as we'll make the trip up to shorter Saturday or Thursday night for the TV game on uh, the Gulf South Conference TV network. That's uh, CSS. Is it still Channel 77 on cable? I don't even know. I, I tried know. to watch one the other night and I couldn't find I'll it. I'll tell you what, you can tell when this is a big game where Coach David Dean gets the ice bucket 
uh, on today for uh, his first win against the Delta Statesman uh, as a head coach of Valosta State. Well, the players are happy for him. He's a good guy, and uh, that's that's probably the first bucket since the national championship game of a, a bucket of ice on him or water. Again, we'll get uh, have two guys this week, Sean Tavius Jones, and uh, we'll have also the great night from uh, afternoon from Cedric O'Neill. The final 39 seconds of the game, fourth down and three for Delta State. Blazers lead it 59 to 41. It's been a wild game from the very moment this game started. You can tell how good this feels as you see the fans, the band, everybody get into this uh, this game. This Wants victory. to throw. Throws downfield. Got a man caught, but he's going to be stopped short of the first down. And a good job. Alex Webster, I think, has played an excellent game today. And uh, that's fourth down. The Blazers will take a knee and we'll get to win. Oh, he went in close to that dang first down. If he gives him the first down, oh wow! I went. I, he, <laughs> he he hit him behind the where the field goal. Oh. I mean the uh, first down mark. It was the first down. Well, I'll be dang. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, um, we can't get out of here fast enough. I'm just gonna say that. Blazers go six and two. Overall, the biggest news: they go four and one in the region. Five and two against Division two opponents. From behind, he sacked, he fumbles the football. And hopefully we pick it up and we can just get out of here. Clock's running, officials. There he goes. I wonder why they let the clock run when they're searching for the football. Got an injured Delta player on the field. There's been a lot of injuries tonight, and this is number nine on the night. You guessed yeah. it, the ninth injury timeout. Davis pumped. Nine injury timeouts. Would you? Is that the record? Oh, I'm sure. It, <laughs> hey, uh, Charles, do you have? Uh, can you write down uh, Sean Tavius' numbers? I and, sure will. And O'Neill's the number, Sean. Have that available. Dick, I thought you were asking him to write down Sean Tavius' number. It's one. <laughs> no, it's his. I know, I know. <laughs> I can remember one. They got an offensive lineman go off. They'll have a chance to get one more play. Mine's a courtesy clap. Eight minutes and six seconds to go in the football game. And what a while. This, this is the longest game I think I can remember. Three hours and 25 minutes. We had the long delay. And hopefully Quinn maybe is at the hospital or hope maybe listening to the game. And uh, if, if you are Quinn, we're thinking about you and, and hoping we'll hear good news real, real soon about you. He wants to throw deep to the end zone. He's got people there. We got people there. And it is intercepted by Valdosta State. And that'll do it, folks. Isaiah Gresham with the interception. Valdosta State wins it 59 to 41. Final score, 59-41. Valdosta State wins it. It's Tom Oden, Charles Hurd. I'm Dick Rock. Good night, Valdosta.